I'm in the middle of a look away for 20 seconds. If you like that. It really does sort of feel like a fall day today, I will say that. Definitely feels like a fall day. Which I kind of like. Definitely not gonna need any AC. I do have the fan of the AC running just to pull in air, but I might not even need that. We'll see. But, yeah. Today is Friday, September 2nd, and it is certainly a day. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is I at least know what I want to start with for a game. scrolling for an extraordinary long time on Steam there. Like, okay, I gotta be at the S's at some point soon, right? I go, I go, and then eventually. Eventually. Isn't it interesting how some people say eventually, even though it's an E, so you'd be like, eventually. I don't know if this is a me thing or a many people thing, but I find that I switch between the ways of pronouncing words at near random, or maybe if near or in the same phrasing or sentencing as other words. Things like either or either. Things like aunt or ant. Things like, uh, what made me think of this in the first place it was some other word that I had just said. Yo. Yo. It's Mr. Republic. I almost said Republican. That that that's not what your name is. <laughs> that's that's not what your name is. Did you get your fancy burger already, or are you still waiting for it? I do have you. But before, when I had set them, I thought it was only for like that stream that it would set them. And then I realized that's not how it works. So I took off, like it had like mobile gaming, and NIAP or something, and I had set those for when I did pad stream, and I thought like it would just happen for that stream, and then they would go away, but they stay there. So I put my name in it, but other than that, I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna put here. Yo, it was great. Was there anything fancy in it, or was it just well made? Any like fancy? Okay, maybe not even deemed fancy, but in my mind, I'm just picturing the. A basic burger with le burger, lettuce, tomato, buns, etc. Onion rings and BBQ sauce, pepper jack cheese.
I'm assuming you don't mean this, but the way you wrote it made me picture, like, okay, you know, we got the burger, we got the lettuce, we got the slice of cheese, we got a couple onion rings, we got a, wait a second. <laughs> like, I was picturing, like, they tossed on, like, an onion ring or two as almost tomato-esque, like, into the burger. But I imagine those were on the side. It had it all. Damn. Wait, so the onion rings were actually in it. Okay. That's hype. That's kind of hype. So, mashed potatoes, those are just all right. Yeah, I mean, they're mashed potatoes, right? What's... Can you really make mashed potatoes be fancier than normal mashed potatoes without being just mashed potatoes? Like sweet potato mashed potatoes or something. Or, you know, mashed potatoes, but it's got a bunch of other stuff in it. And then it's like, all right, well, then it's not basic mashed potatoes, so. So this may upset you that you're seeing this screen because you wanted cracking them because the two videos that I uploaded were also super auto pets. However, those videos were from last week with a different weekly set of animals. I have not played this one this week. Plus, I didn't have time to like set up a new game. <laughs> what do you want from me? It's not gonna be the whole stream. We're just trying to get a 10 win and then we'll move on, okay? Plus I'm still eating anyway. All right. Oh, also 7TV emote should work. If you do nodders, it should work, for example. You can have fun looking through all of those emotes, because I added quite a bit to 7TV. Now, that being said, there's a new weekly. Let me scroll through. Chinchillas, crickets, iguanas, ladybugs, mosquitoes, moths, otters. Okay, okay. Other pill. So it's honey and peach. Okay. Frigate bird herd abilities, so keep that in mind. Hurt triggers, yeah, okay. So peacocks. Frigate bird with peacocks. Rats, shrimp. Croissant, meat, okay, aardvark. So rats and, and a couple other things matter there. A hurt trigger, so blowfish with frigate bird. Giraffe, a classic. Kangaroo, rabbit, ox. These starfish, I've never had a starfish in a weekly I've done yet. When a friend is sold, if it had a sell ability, give plus one and plus one to a random friend. Sell abilities. So like, the marmoset? Like the only one I could think of. Oh, or a pig. Okay, all right, there's a couple. Hurdle, of course. I haven't seen pill. Did I miss pill? I don't think there's pill. That's not as great with pill. There's no exclamation point emotes command. Yeah, I guess not. Um, I could give you the link for it. I put it in the uh, sub channel. Yeah. Get it again. I think this is supposed to bring you to my page. I think, I'm not entirely sure if that will work, but okay. Resuming, resume, cucumber. There's no yak, so there's not, you don't really need that necessarily. Pineapple for snipes. 
and lollipop. I don't know if there's a need for lollipop. Anteaters, armadillos, bison. Okay, so bison means keep your eyes up for level three for an easy run. Microbes are weird, man. Microbes are weird. Uh, deers, sure. There's another herd ability, though. I'm not a porcupine. Rooster! Okay, roosters are always very big. Those are big ones. No lynx, right? I didn't see a lynx here for lynx snipes. So maybe not as much sniping going on. Canned food cheese pear. Not a huge cheese guy. Well, I love cheese, but not necessarily like that. If you click the emote set, you get your link, which might be preferred. Uh, how's that different? Oh, okay. Okay, good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, now we have another, a different Kirby dance emote. Uh, okay, Crocs, so Snipes. Foxes. Fox could kind of go here because no pills. So you're not going to accidentally kill yourself. There's no uh, garlic either, right? Yeah, no garlic. Goats. Lionfish monkey, scorpion shark vulture, and we have chocolate. That's a big one to know about. Knowing that you can level up is huge. Carrots are obviously great. Um, though they show up late, so it's kind of a eh. Any chickens? No, right? Shark, no mantis, vultures. So there's maybe some vulture spawning, shooting. Because pineapples are around. A cat with a fox could kind of... Like, that could kind of work nice, I think. Okay, and Leopard Snipe. So there's some snipes, but there's not like an early Link Snipe. The only early Snipe, I think, is the Mosquito. Ostrich. I'm an Ostrich lover. Stegosaurus White Tiger. Orange. I've never seen this. Give two pets four plus health. And a Mushroom. So, okay. All right. I think early game, like three level three or level three, you kind of just play what you get. There's no elephant, so I don't feel like blowfish is all that great. I mean, if you make a big glow blowfish, great, but you're not going to really be popping off, you know, blowfish, elephant, pineapple kind of stuff. So I'm going to keep my, my eyes away from that. You didn't realize there's so many animals? Well, there's way more than the ones that I just listed. It's just this is the weekly pack. So they like do out of the entire pool of animals and foods. Every week, they, like, mix it up and have a subset of those things in the weekly pack. And so that's what, uh, that's what I do. I've never even done the other mode. I've only done the weekly mode, because that seems more interesting. I'm, I'm, I've been, the way I've approached it since I've started is, I try to get a 10 win, and then I'm, like, done. <laughs> maybe if I, there's an extraneous circumstance, or maybe at the very beginning, I did some extras to be like, oh, let's see if I can get another 10 with a different team. It is addicting, and, and I would definitely have fun just keep going even after a 10, but I realize that, you know, time is limited, so. Anyway, let's let's do it here. I still have, oh, is this not the perfect song for some of those new emotes? New Kirby emotes? All right. Um, I don't think I'm really looking for faint triggers. Hmm. I mean, if they went cricket, that's great. I guess I'll just go stats. Like, I could go chinchilla or something. There are pigs, so I'm going to go otter at the front. And I'm actually going to do this. No, I'm going to do this. Freeze that. Let's go with the... Boring bludgers? No. Let's go with the smug godfathers. Right? Isn't that kind of how that goes? There's more than the Kirby Jam, too. There's a bunch more. Hmm. That did not quite work out, but we'll tie. We'll tie. Interesting. I kind of want a ladybug just because there's the chance of the level. I guess.
Do you like Kirby Jam? Fair enough. I could sell this, buy, and then freeze. Maybe to look for a cricket level. I mean, this is better than an otter. That part's fair, but... Uh, whatever, I don't need the pair. I'm not really interested in that stuff. Okay. We're looking for levels. This will not trade. This iguana. Oh. Right. Seahorse iguana is a thing. Seahorse iguana is a thing. For some reason, when you move them around. I don't think I'm YouTubing this. I mean, unless you're playing on your VOD channel. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't think they get the things I uploaded got views. I mostly did it for. Basically, like, you and Vicious, or whoever wanted to watch. Have something to watch on the sidelines while I wasn't around. Um, I'll freeze and roll. Son of a gun. I just keep having, like, these half-leveled things that are all suck. <laughs> Let me go... like this, I guess. I don't know. This seems bad. It seems not great. You were just playing? Fair enough. You got so many junk robocalls, you hate it. Okay, I, I see what's going on here. This is definitely a week of iguanas going about with seahorses. Okay, all right, this is what's happening. Feels turtle. I don't want any of this. I'll take it. I hate it. Hmm. <laughs> Do I want to shrimp? I feel like there's more health. Well, there's cucumber and that. I guess, I don't, I don't know. I kind of just want like a giraffe. But this is it. You know what? Let's get rid of this. Let's buy this. We have a free roll. Let's roll. Terrible for me. Don't like that at all. I'm gonna wait on the level up. And instead, I'm going to croissant... The iguana? This doesn't seem great either. <laughs> Kirby rolls. Let's roll. Yep, so there's the iguana. Okay. Well, our, our thing's gonna get a trigger, so that's good. We are going to lose by one HP. That's tough, that's tough. If I had used the cupcake, I would have won that turn. But here we go, level, big level. Eh. Why? This mosquito sucks. Uh... Okay, well you know what? If people are running all sorts of um, friggin' seahorse iguana then maybe they're gonna hit some porcupines for one each and then when that happens they're gonna fucking fight back strike back now i could sell something and then buy peacock and an item i'm gonna roll what are we doing are we going crazy are we gonna go crazy mode hedgehog it double hedgehog seems like a terrible idea what? Dude, I don't know what's going on. I could sell this and have enough money to buy two things. I could just sell this and buy a singular hedgehog somewhere around here. The ladybug is close as it is to a level. I'd rather just do this. 
unfreeze this. Right? I want to unfreeze that, right? We're, yeah, we're, we're probably going to lose this round, would be my guess. That would be my guess. Maybe we're looking for a level 3. So the more I think about it, I think this iguana stuff is only good early. I think later on it's not going to be as good. Also realizing that if people are doing this whole seahorse... Uh, oh god, the wombat stole this ability? What's about to happen right now? I'm going to snipe. I'm going to snipe. We won. That was my first win? Yeah. Okay. Uh, cricket sucks here. It's just not a good, good, it's not a good day to be a cricket. Um, I guess I'm doing this. Seems kind of crazy. Uh, I mean, we could be seahorse and then make things move around. We could also turtle at near the end. I mean, this is going to be a suicide, right? Because what if something else tricked? Well, we have time anyway. But, I mean, this blowfish we could also just sell. But it is kind of helping a little bit right now. I don't think we're looking to Ardvark. Yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe I should have gone for a kangaroo at some point. This turtle is just going to die. I don't know if that's a great idea. But it's not going to kill anything. But whatever. This is what's happening. This is what's happening. For better or for worse. Who are we fighting? We're fighting the blatant cuties. Okay, so their turtle... We're going to fire back with our porcupine. Then we're going to kill everything. Trigger this. Oh, they have a... They have a, uh, whatchamacallit? A sloth. It's kind of exciting. It's a little late for a giraffe, I'm not gonna lie. A little late for a giraffe. We're, but we aren't scaling, so there is that as well. I don't, like, I don't really... Well, we should probably pineapple the this, even though it's not doing anything. Maybe we shouldn't pineapple. Oof. We just need some tier 4 stuff. Is this even good? Summon two level ants? What do we even replace? The blowfish has been getting to, like, kind of snipe out, which has been fun, but I, I think it's probably not good. Probably should sell it. Would be my guess. And may if I had gone for these damn kangaroos earlier, then we would have would have had something. Uh, now I don't know if I like it though. Because it's gonna kill him anyway. I don't know about that. I mean, I could just make this bigger, and then. Can't really use that on anyone, huh? A rooster could be our singular way out of this place. Don't like any of those. An ard, an armadillo. This turtle, we don't, there's no way to pill. So this turtle might also not be long for this world. We're we're relying on big iguana here. We're, we're self-killing, like, most of our... T yeah, see, there's the bison. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, we lose. Not a big surprise. Not a big surprise. There's that. I think... It might be time to get rid of this guy, because we're not really doing the blowfish part here anymore. Do this because it's a good unit? Question mark. It has a sell ability, blah blah blah. Would whale do anything for us? If we swallow a turtle, it gives it a uh it gives itself. I mean that's kinda nice. You swallow this, you get an extra chick that's like a two power. If you swallow an anteater, you get a bunch of ants. So it's do I do I sell 
Do I sell a turtle or do I sell an anteater? I think it's got to be one of those. I think it's got to be one of those. There's more likely to be snipes, I guess, the longer we get for iguana snipes. But at the same time, eating an anteater is going to do a lot more. The problem is eating an anteater at the beginning is going to spawn ants that don't really do anything. So I think that means I'm doing this. Which doesn't seem amazing. And there's another turtle. Which I guess doesn't really do anything for us, does it? Because it, level 2, it, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure this run ain't getting there, so... <laughs> I guess I'm not that worried about it. Don't be... Uh, okay, so this gets to trigger once, at least. There's that's, that's cool, I guess. Hey, they're doing the same thing with the turtle. <sighs> One HP away. This kangaroo is ginormous. So that part's not so great. It's gonna spit out a turtle? And that copies the kangaroo. I actually didn't know that that's how that worked. That's kind of cool. These are other people, yes. These teams. Okay, so not the best start. I think turtle is not amazing because you can't pill it. The whole iguana seahorse seems like a thing early. It does seem like there's stuff that can spawn things, so iguana doesn't seem terrible. But at the same time... You know what? I'm big pigging. I'm pigging, I'm pogging. Let's be the tiny hands. Some people think that's an issue. If a, you, a, a tiny hands on like an N64 controller or an OG Xbox can be problematic. Okay, this is gonna be good because we got a Guana Snipe, so we win this one either. Alright. We're already almost better than how we were last time. That's how bad we were last time. Alright, see, we're, we're doing a Guana Seahorse. I mean, I could moth and then switch something, but... Uh, yeah. Mmm, okay. I mean, I would rather have two snipes. But I also like the idea of these being a level, potentially. So then let's give... The Iguana health? Maybe? Like, I could give Pig health, but... Can we do something like this? Do something like this? Do a thing? Um... There you go. Which finger is which? I feel like we did a bunch of iguana triggers and we're still gonna, like, lose somehow. I don't know how that happened. I was doing the finger thing, I didn't even see what, what really happened there. Okay, so... Boom. Honestly, hey, I wanted to sell that pig. Ah, I wanted to sell that pig, but the way the selection works is not what I thought. Okay. Uh, well, whatever. We're already here. Um, roll. I mean, if I get the level now, it doesn't really matter, right? Because I could croissant and start getting the iguana bigger, but maybe we're not even- maybe we're gonna pineapple it or not even have it later, so let's just... Stop trying to make me blowfish. I don't want to blowfish. Please. Please. Alright, this one's in front now. And then we do this. Yeah. How did he do it? Ugh. How's RuneScape going? Oh, we almost had anti-pig tech. Oh, we do because of Mosquito. Oh, it's perfect. What the hell is going on? Uh, we win. We win. All right, I already tied up. Okay, well, we're, we're going to, I guess, get close to a level two 
I mean, we're really we're looking level three mosquito into, you know, uh, bison. Really, is what we're looking for. That's a lot of hours. That's a lot of hours. Okay, so there's a bunch of snipes. This thing has a billion HP, but I think we're looking fine. We have potential level ups with Seahorse and Otter. All right, we're, we're taking a giraffe. I, this is, we're, this is, that's what's happening. Giraffe is really good here. I th Even though Mosquito isn't great, it's our best unit, and it's also the most likely to hit level three. I don't know if I really want to pineapple this iguana yet, because it's kind of early. So, instead, let's pineapple the mosquito. Unfreeze this. I don't really care about any of these. Um, we know that turtle is a unit that does things. So if I roll, I go to three. I can sell this and I'll get two gold. So I'm at six gold virtually right now. So if I sell this pig, I can turtle and then peach something. I could aardvark and peach, like I could do some stuff. How do we feel about spawners? The late units don't have many spawners is the thing, right? There's not many spawners down here besides tape here. There's no, you know, eagles, orcas, that kind of thing. That's why I'm not as interested in aardvark. You've been streaming sometimes, three hours last night. Nice. Um, hmm. Okay, let's sell this pig. Beautiful. Okay, now let's turtle. Because this, this is our biggest unit. It's going to get bigger. This will help us win some fights, I'm sure. And then we're probably keeping this giraffe for a while. Let's make it a little bigger. This iguana is on the chopping block. The seahorse is on the chopping block. That's a big bug. Two kills, though. Two big kills by the mosquito. And this melon is going to be huge, just like I predicted it would be. Perfect. Perfect. Mmm. There's the level three. Do we wait? No. Bison. I wanted a bison. And now, it, now it's a question of, okay, well, Iguana level two, and then you should do some things, but I don't know. I don't know about that one, Chief. Anteater's just weird, because you can't really have it at the front. You gotta have it, like, in the middle, or near the end. Or, or you just get rid of Iguana and put Seahorse, like, in this second slot. So when it dies, then there's Ant Ant. The weird thing, though, is that, uh, I don't know how that, I don't, the seahorse then doesn't trigger iguana, but then it's just a unit. I think we're, I think we're past iguana though. One thing we could, well, we can't really put kangaroo behind the thing that's going to get melon, so that doesn't really work. So let's freeze this and roll. There is a seahorse. Bison. Okay. Uh, until end of battle. I think uh, I think I'm just doing this. <laughs> I think I'm just doing this for this turn. And then we're rolling again, right? There's another iguana. Dang it. Okay. This is still not the worst thing. Do I want? Yeah, we kind of need the seahorse at the front. Because we want the turtle to be in front of the mosquito, so. Okay, they got a level 2 and a level 1. We snipe. They snipe. Their snipes didn't kill us. There's more things happening. Okay. Hit the, don't hit the turtle. Hit the mosquito? You hit the turtle again. This is fine, though. We win, because melon armor. Alright. The melon armor is huge right now. I'm sure at some point it might may fall off for us, but... Oh yeah, this would work with Frigate Bird too. 
I'm gonna buff the mosquito with a pear. Seems like that's not so bad. An armadillo is not really any war is probably not better than an anteater right now, I would think. About the same. There's the bison. Okay. Seahorse is gone. Well, yeah, it kinda has to be, huh? The weird thing is there's no um there's no like damage reduction this week. So there's no garlics, there's no lemons, there's no melons. So there's not a lot of items to hold that you know, help a big guy go through multiple people. But that said, do I want Seahorse or do I want this Anteater? It's sort of one or the other. The good thing about... I could also start scaling this Rooster. I could also just move the Mosquito and have, like, Turbo the Bison. It would be a bit temporary, perhaps. Well, no, because you could do... You could still move the, the Turtle to be doing the mosquito while this thing catches up and then okay all right you're gone you're here i mean i like me a rooster i just don't know if we have the enough room for that for all of that of course now there's the chance for a level two all right um you know what we're not dying let's can let's can it up Slowly but surely. What do they got? They got no seahorse, and we did get getting rid of our anteater was actually kind of good there because they have an iguana. So their iguana is not really gonna do anything. We're gonna oh yeah, this mosquito going to town. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. That early giraffe has been huge, of course. Uh. Am I canning again? I mean, eventually this turtle's gotta go, right? Unless we can get a level two turtle. Yeah. When when do we get carrot? Turn turn nine, which is next turn. So it's probably not worth cucumbering. A deer, a big a doe, a deer. We don't need a level a level three mosquito is better than a level three seahorse, I think. A deer is kind of nice. It's almost the same stats. I think I'm down to do that. And then I'll do this. We gotta just make this happen quicker. We don't really care about swapping the stats. A whale doesn't, there's not really enough room for a whale unless you like whale the turtle or whale the deer. I don't think I'm interested. And then this stuff I'm not interested in. Okay. This is still good. I think that, uh, I, I suppose I could have moved the turtle back so that it buffs the, uh, so that it melons the, uh, bison, but. Okay, so the bad news is that this kangaroo is likely gonna be on the larger side. The good news is this melon means that they'll trade. Our bison will kill this, these will trade, and then we'll lose. So it turns out that wasn't as great. So here's the thing, we don't need this here anymore. A fox. I was saying a fox can kinda go. I think either way a can is not crazy. Buffs everything that's in here. So now the question is, do I try to go for a level two turtle? Does that really even do anything for me? Not necessarily. So I almost would want to like freeze it. And then what? I'm selling a deer and grabbing a fox? Is that what I'm doing? I just bought this, but maybe that's... Is the melon armor for this worth it over the deer? It could be. We can also just get a new deer. It's not like I put stats on this thing. So let's do this. Let's roll. Yeah, because there's five stamina left anyway. Or five mm, coins. And then with our last, well, that's not the best thing for the fox to have to take, but it is what it is. And then let's just do this. Make our turtle bigger. And we go again. We could potentially have put the fox behind the giraffe. 
But 11 damage is, is probably enough to get through some things. Okay, this is a little weird now. Yeah, okay, I see what's going on. This is not the best. Another turtle! All right, we, we're gonna lose this one because their kangaroo had the best setup of all time. They didn't even need their turtle to be level two, that's the thing. Just rude. Um, I guess I freeze this because that's a pretty good one for him to eat. Uh, I do think th this probably would have been better though, order-wise. I mean, a level two giraffe would be nice. We should be able to technically get chocolate. Uh, would I rather do this and then roll? Probably, right? We want to make this guy big as possible. Then we roll. We don't need this. This is another snipe I didn't see before, but... Monkeys are kind of nice, though. Monkeys are kind of nice. Hmm. Lionfish are also kind of nice with all this, uh... With all these people running turtles. But what would I get? I guess if I got rid of... The giraffe or the monkey, it's doing more buffs. The problem is either you're giving the buff to the turtle or you're putting bison in the front with no help. Also, this unit's just kind of big. I mean, I could take out the fox. Both of these I don't think really do anything because he's going to eat it and I don't think it triggers after the fact. Hmm. Hmm. It's a tempting monkey, I'll tell you what. The tempting monkey, our giraffe is getting bigger. There's nothing else I would really do with money anyway. I guess unless I'm putting something on a bison to make it a little bit bigger. The fox then will just eat the croissant. I guess. I guess that's what's happening. I don't know how good this was or not, but... Yeah, see, then the croissant didn't go off because they ate it. So maybe maybe this isn't as good as the fox wig as I thought. I don't know how this would work next turn. Okay, so this means... What? Okay, this is looking pretty good, actually. Well, not not so much that, actually. That part was not as good. It, it was good until those ants that were 4-4s showed up. That's game over! I didn't even realize. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Interesting. I thought I was going to be on somewhat, not quite easy street, but, you know, something along the lines of said street. What do I do with this? Because... Because uh, we're going to be the naughty fuddy duddies? No, the slippery bones, the creamy bones. Ooh. Uh, the slippery fuddy duddies. I don't know what that would even mean, but Don't snipe okay, I think well it depends on this. Okay now we'll tie And that's fine That was a big mosquito snipe Okay, I mean I guess I'm doing this and this and then rolling Sure, why not? That's actually not bad either. Okay. We got some snipes. I thought we were really starting to get there. We were actually scaling a little bit. Scaling seems to be a little tough to come by. We're tying? We're tying. We're tying. Okay. Hey, Vicious. Okay, I will say the last few weeks I've had 10 win in like the first two games. So this is this is the third third game. So it's the first one to take a little bit here. I don't like those rules at all. Um, I could just sell the otter at this point. Buy a tamarind. Freeze me, roll me. Not really interested. Don't. What am I even doing here? 
Like, I could buy a pug, but it's not really... Not really doing much. EGIF. It's definitely an IF. What are all of these crickets in there? Good snipes, please? We're tying? We're tying. <clears throat> okay. I think I'm gonna wait a turn at this point for that just because the level next turn is gonna be better. I guess we're not doing a snipe for a turn or something. I don't wanna do that either. Okay. Okay. Sure. We have every unit is is almost ready to to level up. <laughs> I probably should have changed order of stuff. Maybe I don't know. That's a big pig back there. That's almost a level three pig. Holy moly! Yeah, we're super dead. And sheep's early are really really good too. That's just a strong team. That's just a strong team. All right, please. Please me. I mean, fair. I mean, am I going food early? Oh, there's like pears and cupcakes. I don't. I don't know how great that is. I can't even buy this squirrel anyway. I don't know if I even want to. Probably not. Mmm. Mmm. Sell abilities? We already sold this. I don't know what's going on, man. Am I gonna buy this to sell this to sell that to. Probably not. Is this the order I want? Uh. Yeah, because we'll buff that and then we'll go like. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll go like. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. They have a turtle and a parrot. Does that work like that? If now if the parrot dies, does it it does work like that. Holy moly. Uh we needed the ant to buff the ants. We needed the ant to buff the ant to kill that, but I think we still would have lost anyway. Not looking great for the home team here. Level? Level. Be selling this. I'm selling this. Get out of here. I think I'm copying Anteater? I guess? And then... I mean, that would be nice with the squirrel and everything. I don't, I, I don't, I, I feel lost. I'm lost, dude. I don't know what's going, I don't know what to do. I could also copy a mosquito snipe. But I think this is better for me. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, that's a, that's a big peacock. Don't snipe the peacock. Hey, they sniped the peacock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait a second, we're gonna tie. Oh my gosh, that was a wild one. That was a wild one. Is it too late for the sheep? That is the question. I mean, I could go peacock and then have them maybe getting buffed by the ants, or could... I mean, compared to that other peacock, I'm so much later. Thing. I don't really want to do a sheep now, though. I think I tried to get a sheep early, get some early wins. None of it. It's like maybe the peacock, but... We're like kind of close to two different level threes. Am I really doing this? Am I really trying to get the bison? Is that what is that what I'm doing? If, if I'm trying to get there, I should roll instead. 
who am I buffing? This is questionable. I... I guess this is what I'm doing. Hey, Boomba. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, that was not good for me. Ant luck, ant luck, okay. This is gonna trade with that, and then I'm gonna lose the giraffe fight. Ooh. Playing the Union Knight feels way more balanced. It seems like there's more farm to go around, which is cool, I suppose. I think I'm about to lose. The problem with freezing the bison is that there's not going to be as many things hanging around. So, this, this is probably, this is a lost run. This is a lost run. I know this doesn't work yet. I, I know it doesn't work yet. I have to do it. We need to try and find the seahorses or something. This, we're so, this is so dead. We're so lost. The thing, so I haven't played it. I've watched a little bit of people playing it. I can't tell if it makes, like the jungle position was already so quote unquote important. Where it's kind of, like is it even more? Oh, this was terrible, we're dead. Not, this is not my, this is the worst I've ever done in a weekly. I can't tell if the like, jungle was always that position that was chosen when there's, like, a new OP Pokemon because you want that Pokemon to get scaled as quick as possible, and generally it has a large effect on the first bits of the game and the first dread. Is that even more exacerbated because there's more farm in the jungle so that the jungle is even more leveled than before? How the heck did you... you you're correct, it is the wharf. What the heck? He's a legend. How does he know it all? How does he know? How does he know? Because I could also picture if there really is that much junk farm in the jungle, you could also potentially siphon off some of it to certain people in lane so that they can hit, you know, a certain level... level peak at a better time to take advantage of. I don't know. I haven't really looked at it enough. Okay. I don't... I mean, I feel like I have to do this for level-related purposes. You know, I'm abandoning the mosquito. I don't want anything to do with the mosquito. Also, I'm actually going to do it like this. Let's be... the... flopping sardines. That's just... That's just what happens, isn't it? I, isn't that just how that works? What? Oh, they did two of those and then fed one of them. There's an extra camp in the mid of eight minutes. There's the Altaria camp. Yeah. I did see there's that middle one. I don't think I want this level right now. I guess I'm buying this first, then rolling. I guess I'm potentially gonna be level three mothing. No, let's do this first, actually. Like a little bit better. And then move this one to the front. And then something like this. This is gonna be the biggest, oh boy, those snipes could be potentially bad. Don't snipe the, yeah, don't, I said don't snipe it. We're gonna tie still, okay, that's good. That's good at least. Posture check, posture check. Okay, give me a good level three. Again with the blowfish. Again with the blue. I mean, I'll. T I guess I'll take it, but I'm not happy about it. 
Roll me? Roll me. I don't really like any of that. You know what? I'm gonna do... Just give this more... Yeah, I'm just gonna... This is gonna be... This one at the front. And then you do this, and then you do this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't snipe the moth, don't snipe the moth, don't snipe the moth, don't snipe the moth. Okay, they snipe the other moth, which is fine. Perfect. I haven't really read any of the patch notes yet, but I do know that Mr. Mime is apparently crazy. <laughs> That's what I've heard. Big blowfish? Or big blowfishing? Let's do this instead. Because it has 3 HP, so it's more likely to survive. This could get hit by, like, a double mosquito or a mosquito with a pineapple. So let me go like this and this. Yes. Yes. I think that's enough to trade is it it is it is that see that's amazing that's why you go with a little unit at the front that it can trade the barrier stuns and the guard swap heals quite a bit i've heard the i've heard that you go guard swap power swap whatever it is and psychic like that's the the crazy thing to do does pug? I mean, if I if it pugs, it oh, this is when you buy though, not when it levels up. Okay. Uh... Man, I could sell the monkey. Drop food, even give it plus one health. <laughs> you heard guard swap confusion is bugged. I have heard that confusion in particular is bugged. Yes. I have heard that as well. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this wabbit or not. Okay, these are interesting to me. I think I'm willing to get rid of this. Do a little bit of this. I I would I would like to get the whole level two, level three thing. So maybe I should just sell the auto. And then, I mean, HP is nice to have. Put this at the front to get mothed. We're not really selling anything right now, though. You could meet, you could meet a giraffe. You could meet a giraffe. Not interested. Kangaroos can kind of do some things, but. Of course, there's another otter. Dang it! All right, we're we're going. I said at the beginning I wasn't going to do blowfish, and look at this. Now I'm doing big blowfish. Blowfish? Well, hold on. Things are getting moved. A little unfortunate on the switcher right there, but bigger could have gone better. Could have gone better. All right. Well, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I think I'm gonna do this, and then we do this to buff the blowfish, and then we roll. Of course. Of course that happened. This with a pineapple would be much nicer. And you know what? I put this one at the front now, and I put this one at the back. Yeah. Yep, that's what's happening. Yeah, I, I heard it was a really big patch change, so I, I haven't looked at it all. I know there's a bunch. Uh, all right. Well, the good news actually is that these should trade, so there's gonna be no trigger on there on the blowfish here. There's gonna be no. Oh yeah, this is why you go blowfish second, because you know there's gonna be people mothing it up. Why you don't start blowfish? All right, level achievement reached. Level three moth. Look at that. Okay. I'm buying a monkey. Um... I mean, I guess technically I'm probably not keeping this. So let's do this, because that'll give health to something. Sure. 
Then I buy the monkey. Now is the part where I'm like, I was just talking about how you shouldn't moth, but... Or you shouldn't uh, blowfish at the front because everyone's mothing, but uh, I mean, at this point, maybe it, maybe it's not so bad. Level four? Or tier four, we can get pears or some other things. I don't really care about any of those units. Definitely don't care about any of that. A whale does absolutely nothing. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna give more HP to the blowfish. The shrimp is obviously on the chopping block here, but we're we're hyperscaling the blowfish. We would also like our blowfish to level up, get a pineapple. There's a couple of different things that could happen. The hooting beams. Now, they got a shark? Okay. But you know what? We're gonna get some triggers here. Sniping up this shark. Sniping up this, sniping up everything. Can we kill this team? We can. No, we can't because he got the, oh, it was so close. It was so close. Okay. You're not good. You're okay. Problem is we can't move the blowfish. So having an armadillo doesn't really make sense. A, a deer is not the worst. It's a bit weird to have it back here, for sure. Because you normally want it in the front to do melon breaking, but you can't pill turtles anyway. I have to do this, right? It's a bison. It's gonna. Uh, we have a level three. It's gonna auto scale. I think I do keep this on blowfish for now. I mean, I could either just try to hyper the bison or let the bison kind of catch up. Although it's not gonna catch up because this is gonna. I think this is what we want still. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I could croissant something. None of this is that amazing, I think. All right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We need to survive enough for a bison to start going off, but... It, it, I mean, this this is a big puffer fish. So, it can get a lot of triggers. It's a big puffer... Oh, one HP. That's rather unfortunate. We're going to lose by, like, two HP. If our, if our bison had one HP there, we... Win, I'm pretty sure. So that's great. Um, am I really look gonna double pair? That seems terrible. I would also, I mean, if I leveled up to the giraffe, that would even be better. I mean, yeah, right? Like, we gotta do this. We level up the giraffe. Um, so I definitely should do this. The question is, I could also potentially do this so that he starts scaling a little faster as well. Um, how much do I... And then I guess this is kind of nice because you got Moth boost as well. The only bad, bad thing here is that I have three gold, but I can't really spend it unless I was to sell something. Can't sell the Moth unless I'm getting rid of the Bison. These two units are pretty... Uh, I think we just roll and try to look for some good foods and things. Those aren't really good. Those don't help us. This helps us. Helps us get a level 2 blowfish next turn. I could have potentially done the level 2 blowfish this turn instead of the giraffe, but I was figuring helping the bison get there faster is better than what's happening because now the bison is going to trade with this turtle, then it bounces off the first level of this, and then shoot the... Yes! Shoot the armor! Shoot the armor! We're still going to lose! What the heck? No! That was the team! We needed that turn to live! That was the team! We were going to get level the Blowfish! That was the team! That was the team. That was the one that was supposed to go all the way. 
We even got the good blowfish ping on the melon. I feel like so many of these fights we're losing by like 1 or 2 HP every time. It's not going well. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I guess this is happening. I guess this is happening. Uh, the... Let's be... The talkative rangers. You know, like one of those guide rangers more than one of the ones that's actually doing all the work. Kind of a big cricket, I guess. It's gonna. This is gonna win. This is a winning run right here. These early. These early shark people are killing me. These early shark folk are really just tearing me up. Uh. Well. I guess we're big cricketing. Although, honestly, there's a chance of, you know, big. Moth. Thing. So I guess I'm doing this. This is a weird way to do it, but. The Misty Point. What is this psycho monkey team? Alright, so the good news is. I'm pretty sure. We're, well, actually, we're tying, I think. No, we're winning. We're winning. We're winning. Nice. If I had done the cricket before the otter, I think we still win, so. Level? Whatever, I'll take it. I'll also do this. Next turn we take a food. It'll get like super duper buffs. We're not probably we're probably not doing that. Buy sell does not like there is kind of some buy sell, but not a lot. It's a weird team when it's a weird to me when there's no garlic or lemon, like no Equipment that protects you, really. And this is the moth situation we were worried about. We just didn't have anything with a big enough attack to really take something down. The game just clicked for you? What about the game just clicked for you? I guess we're big cricketing. He's get boost now. Like, this is almost a level, so I'm, like, kind of interested. How it works, how it plays. Seems like a bad idea what I'm doing. Okay, we freeze this for a level next turn. Maybe we meet something. You just understand now, five head? Sure. There's definitely some food shopping builds that could go. With the fox, bunny, squirrel. Like, there's definitely some stuff that can happen. I think we win by a smidge? Yeah, we win by a smidge. We win by a smidge. Give me something juicy. Not exactly juicy. Level four, something big. No! I don't like you! Go away. Maybe a level three? Am I just gonna level three bison every time and lose by the time I get it? Kinda seems like it. I think I actually, like I kinda wanna do meat because it will actually have a chance to trade with something that's getting uh, mocked up. But at the same time, I also don't really wanna go full squad. Ew. It's early enough for a Peacock to maybe do something. Not loving what we got here. Not loving it. Hey, a giraffe! <coughs> I remember what that's like. <coughs> it's like huge. This is, that's just... 1 HP again. 1 HP on that mosquito. That whole time. We're just lacking damage. Level. Whale does not do anything for me right now. <clears throat> um, I mean, Pug could level 2 the Peacock. I don't really know how good that is. I 
I guess we can kangaroo. But, you know, let's, uh, well, no, because we gotta do this, we would have to do this first. Doing this, if I sell, I actually should have done the chinchillas and then pug this, but it's too late. This doesn't matter, this maybe helps. I feel like, I already feel like I've lost the whole run. I feel like the run is already over. I don't know, this is the most confusing run that has ever been a thing for me. I, I just, I don't know why, I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. This doesn't, okay, well hold on now. I can win this round. All right, we won the round. Thank you, Peacock. Another bunny, right in time, thanks. Um, okay. You're not really doing anything. You would kind of help, I guess, maybe. Uh, roll? Nothing. I also, this chinchilla is just so useless to me right now. Okay. This doesn't help me right now either. I don't know, man. What do you- I don't- I don't know, man. You can't garlic the peacock either, because garlic isn't a thing. But I- I don't know what's going on. Maybe I should have croissanted this cricket that was- Hey, Angel. I'm struggling right now. I'm struggling big time. That's a lot of anteaters. <laughs> a lot of anteaters. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, that ant milk. This is, we lose, we lose. Oy, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know. I don't know. Are peacocks too small? I have to do this if I want to do this. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Cheat kind of works better in front of a kangaroo than a cricket does. The cricket's not large. I don't... I don't know what's going on, man. Okay, hold on. Oh, there bear. Give one random frozen vision. Start. I mean, it's a 4-8. It's gonna be better than buying one of these. I guess I'm doing this? We don't need this. Okay, level two peacock will help. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I, I still think we lose. I still think we lose. <laughs> I, I don't see a world where we win. That last team I had was so good, I can't believe we lost. Oh, we're so dead. So, so dead. Look how big this armadillo is. Or aardvark, whatever he is. He's got so much health! He had so much health! How many has that been? This is the worst I've ever done. One, two, three, four. I got a zero win run with this team? That's astounding. I didn't even notice that happened. Okay. Two threes. Stats. Two threes. Two threes. They're all two threes. Two threes. I, this is, I'm a panicking mushroom. No, I'm not. I'm not a Something about a hairy fossil is interesting. It's gotta be one of those ones that's in, an, like, the amber. You know what I'm talking about? What the hell? Any, uh... We tie. Anyone know what I'm talking about? With the, uh, whole... The amber having a fossil in it? Like a feather? Maybe, maybe it's just me, I don't know. Sure, man.
I almost don't want to go for any level 3s, because... Oh, good snipe. Because... I swear, I'm just throwing it away, trying to... By the time the bison comes along, it seems like it's too late unless I get it on level up. I mean, come on. I got it. We could take an ox for a turn. Why not? Let's do a roll first. No, I mean, we're gonna take this anyway. Let's do a roll then. Uh, I should have probably saved the peach. Okay. If this, if we don't win this round, uh, that's bad. If we don't win this round, we're in trouble. Hopefully I didn't pass a mosquito. All right, no moth. If you snipe this pig, Ooh, but you snipe that? Okay, this will trade, though. And then we'll armor, and then boom, bam. I think we'll take it. Take it. We'll take it to the bank. I'm not that interested in long-term going to this ox. But I'm also not interested in any of these, so I don't care about them. I mean... We could, we could do this. I put these in, and then we'll wait, we'll wait. Frigid bird does nothing. Not really anything there either. Nothing. Okay. Not feeling as excited. Okay, monkeys trade, but then there's a gigantic... Okay, good snipe on the pig, but we're super duper losing, so... Okay! If I sell something else, then I can buy the guinea pig. Or if I fuse them, I guess. And then we're going to sell. Don't hit the guinea pig? Okay. Kangaroo behind feels like that makes sense. Uh. Mm, no. I still don't believe in the starfish. Why are you still here? Stop. Okay, this is good in front of the ox, though. And then we can also HP, or we can... What's huh? on? This, this has potential. This, this is a team that can win, I would say. I don't know if the kangaroo should be in front of... The kangaroo probably should be behind the sheep instead of the ox, now that I'm thinking about it. The ox doesn't work like that! Okay, so I definitely should have had the kangaroo behind the sheep. Because now we lose. Okay, that was a lesson learned. I thought it was... How does this work? Friend ahead faints. It, it didn't count the first time it fainted? Alright. I don't know what you're... Uh, now I'm like not really as interested in the, this guy. But I am interested in the level up. Hold on, though. Turn 7. We could wait. Waiting seems like it looks, makes a little bit of sense. I am not as interested in this ox anymore. Even with a level 2, I'm not as interested. I'm more interested, in fact, in a guinea pig. But then I would have to sell something to make room to sell something. Okay. Squirrel, huh? It's so bad, because if I got a bison next turn, that's so good. <laughs> so I think I want to wait a turn, but then this guinea pig is not very good. But the giraffe's so much better, and then you just, like, go like this. And then we roll. 
and then we don't care about any of this, I don't think. You could maybe, again, you could croissant the giraffe or something. Okay. We're, we're going kangaroo. Again, the moth is mothing, so that's why we have that dude up front. They are gonna have a bigger kangaroo, but they... Yeah, okay, that was exactly the worst amount of age. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. Um, maybe we are done with you. You know what, this probably should have been gone a while ago. Now it's, do I want the sheep still? Because the deer is similar. It doesn't summon two stacks, but the deer is a sort of upgraded version. But now I don't need the guinea pig anymore. Why did I? Okay. I think a deer is still probably good, though. There's the bison. There's the bison. Bison. Okay. Sure. And then... Uh, so we have two things. We have this guy's. Maybe we go all in on this then. Yeah. Potentially a level two bison. Potentially a level two kanga. This is looking okay. Looking okay. I kind of almost want the monkey at the front to try and trade with it, whatever is getting mothed up, but I don't know if that's bad or not, so let's try it like this. Oh boy, chat. Again, I'm on bison. I'm a bison only guy for some reason. This is exactly what we don't want to see. Cause look what this but look what this buzzes are gonna do. Okay. Okay. We can lose to this gigantic otter at the end. So painful. How? How does it happen every time? I finally. It wasn't. It was turn seven. That was like the first or second turn to get a bison. The talent level up. I feel like I'm just having the worst luck. <laughs> On one hand, I realize it's not the worst luck because getting a level 3 isn't easy. But on the other hand, it just feels like I always keep running into these teams that end up beat. It's just like, oh, if this guy on my team had one more HP or one more attack, I at least don't lose. And having those extra turns would add up. Having those extra draws adds up for scaling with the bison and stuff like that. This probably isn't even... I probably should have rolled first, but whatever. <sighs> okay. Should we be a bald tr trucker? Could be a bald trucker. Do you play this game, Angel? Huh? How is there only one unit? Did the game feel bad for me? And just put me against a fake person or something? What was that? I don't know. <laughs> what was that? Okay, so we can get a level next turn. I don't even know what to think. I don't even know what to think. I don't want the first unit to have 1 HP because mosquitoes can snipe, and if mosquitoes snipe the unit at the very front, then that means the moth could get a little messed up by that. Yeah, look at that. That almost still happened anyway. I think we are losing. There was a world where that was a win, though, depending on the switching of things. Not really interested. Okay, an early peacock can do some work. An early peacock can do some work. Well, I was supposed to level this turn, huh? I was supposed to do that. We could still do that. Bunny, I'll take it. I could. I could hedgehog. 
gets a trigger on the peacock, maybe it kills other stuff. This is a little bit psycho. I realize this. This is kind of psychotic. But maybe that's what... Maybe I just need to go psycho. Maybe the, doing what I've been doing has not been working. Don't see horse me? Oh, they're gonna see horse me. And they got a level two. Okay. They didn't hit the hedgehog. But then now all of my units are like dead. But we're gonna tie. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow, some way. Somehow, some way. Okay, do this. This is not good with the hedgehog, but the hedgehog may have just been a temporary situation. Perhaps. Go with that. Gives it a little more HP. Roll. Am I, am I really looking to double otter? I don't think so. Do this to give yourself one HP to live a hedgehog. <laughs> to live a hedgehog hit. Mm, actually, do this so that you get the moth buff. And then, like this. Like this. Like this? Like this. I don't know. I don't know. We're trying. We're trying things. That's a big beetle. I don't think moth buff is gonna be enough. That's gonna be enough. Oh, uh oh, we got multiple hedgehogs here. I'm winning though. Aha. I had my hedgehog to go with your hedgehog and you didn't expect the double hedgehog. Mm, I mean, HP is kind of nice. HP is kind of nice. I'm not, I don't want to be married to these two units though, is the thing. I think I would rather roll to start. I mean, you can, you can kangaroo behind a, as much as I would love a level, which means, by the way, what's going to happen here is I'm going to sell this, I'm going to buy a kangaroo, I'm going to roll, and then the game's going to give me another seat, seahorse. Th that's what's about to happen, just, just so that you know. Uh, then we roll. Okay, it didn't, it didn't happen, but it, it could have. And none of these are gonna really help me here, so... Roll. Potential level two. A level two. Uh, we probably don't want that for the hedgehog. The hedgehog is not here to stay, so... Who knows what's about to go down. The bunny's gonna trade with the deer. Oh, boy. Uh, we lose. <laughs> we lose that one. That was an early deer, though. That was a bit of an early deer. A micro. We could go full crazy. We could go full suicide. Microbe and then a hedgehog to hit everyone? It could be done. It could be done. It's... I don't think it's great. But it could be done. <laughs> it would be funny. And at this point... We are sort of going for the full dumb mode thing. And then with... Why did that sound like a lady? I guess I'm doing this first. Yeah, this is the order we need to have. Unfortunately, none of these really help. Well, take three plus damage. I could do four damage to everything plus three. Peacock lives at one, this dies. Probably not good. There's the seahorse. Level 3 kangaroo? I don't know. Look, this is... At this point, I'm not trying to win. We're trying to ruin other people's time. That's what this team is. That's all this is. Don't snipe the micro... You know what? It's actually not... Well, that is kind of bad. Yeah. Yeah. 
Level two, level two. Is that a level two whale? Level two Vigoth? Okay, this is not, this, all right, let's go back to a less psycho team for a moment. Despite the fact that this bunny has been useless. We could sell the hedgehog and get another kangaroo. That seems pretty bad. We could also sell the hedgehog, get a wombat for a one-off. This at least triggers the peacock, though. We have no... Nothing has really been getting statted up except for these items. I think we're going to lose this round. This precise round. Pineapple and the vulture would have been pretty good, actually. We're not getting a level 3 kangaroo. We're not getting a level 3 kangaroo. Uh, don't snipe. Yeah, okay, that's what we wanted to snipe. And now we win. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Pineapple this vulture. Immediately. Awesome. Uh... Sell you? Buy you to buff you? Uh-huh. And then we sell you, probably. And buy... Or two flamingo? And put it in front of the kangaroo? We don't need the bunny at the front anymore, because we're not really doing the whole, uh... We're not really doing the whole like, psycho thing. I think we want... Yeah, 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 yeah. I still don't have much faith here, but it's... Part of it is because it feels weird for a Peacock to not have garlic, but there is no garlic. Oh. We lose. Our, our vulture getting sniped just means we lose. Of course they had a crocodile. Win the weekly? Impossible edition? What the hell is going on? I, I like can't even get to the level sixes. <laughs> I can't even, I can barely even get to the level sixes. This, this is just a weird set of creatures. Like an, a, 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 a solution that makes sense to me is, you know, some scaling with, with giraffe until you get something like I don't know, even maybe even a squirrel's good enough. I don't know. This is the because the food situation is that there's like lollipops, there's cucumbers, there's cans, cheese. There's all these foods that don't actually do stuff really. So buying that, like having the discount with the squirrel and the fox, doesn't make the best sense. But at the same, I don't know. I just, there's no pill for the turtle. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. If it had a cell ability. Like the starfish on the surface, I feel like that could do stuff. The only thing that has cell abilities, if it had a cell ability, does it does a shrimp count as a cell ability? No. A, a marmoset counts as a cell ability. And a pig. But that's it, right? I don't Oh, and a chinchilla. Okay, so there's three, I guess. But beyond that, there's not too many. As far as I can recall, there's only those early level ones. You know what? You know what's good, probably a scorpion, because it's like death touch. There is no. Well, there's a lot of snipers though. I probably should do a stretch break. Here is the thing. I want to go again just because I keep losing. But I think I'm going to do the more 
mature approach. Also, shout out to the cave story. And I am going to have this too much time. So. Hardest weekly of all time. Okay. I am going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to sleep in my water. I'm going to grab an apple. I will come back. Then we'll, we will we will do stretch time. There's a couple video options. I think the one I'm interested in is about the terrifying pace of modern Pokemon. It's quite a title, so I don't know exactly what that means. But, I mean, that is a title that grabs the attention. I think I'm going to do that one. But until that happens, which shouldn't be long. I'm just gonna go bathroom and stuff. Until that happens, do yourself a favor and try out and look for some of the newer 7 TV emotes and see if you like it. Okay. Okay. We know your time is valuable. Thank you for holding. Someone will be with you as soon as possible. Thank you for your call. We appreciate your business and the opportunity to assist you. Your time is valuable. Thank you for holding. Someone will be with you as soon as possible. We know your time is valuable. Thank you for holding. Someone will be with you as soon as possible. Thank you for your call. We appreciate your business and the opportunity to assist you. We know your time is valuable. Thank you for holding. Someone will be with you as soon as possible. So I'm not going to lie, I would have, like, typically, we would be on another game by, by now, but similar to, I guess, how other things have gone this week, things aren't going well, <laughs> Part, due to my own performance, I imagine, right, so just as much as anything else. Just as much, dude, Chrome sucks, by the way, just saying, Chrome's dog doo-doo. Also, YouTube has gotten worse. Chrome in particular is getting insanely bad, though. It's been bad, and it's continuing to get worse. That's all I gotta say. Okay, boom. Okay. The terrifying pace of modern Pokemon from Lutu, I believe. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to say it, but... Um, I actually didn't even know they had a YouTube channel. I've seen them tweet on various things before. Usually when there's leaks or, or like data mining or leaks or just like general Pokemon stuff. So I'm interested to see what they have to say about this. Lutu, the terrifying pace of modern Pokemon. I honestly have no idea what this is going to be about. Because from what I recall, I thought... I guess it depends on what they define as modern Pokemon, but... Um, either he, he's going to be talking about the pace at which how they basically make a new Pokemon game every year of some kind or um, 
maybe that each game is releasing too many new Pokemon, but from what I understand, I thought there hasn't been... There's been not as giant groups of Pokemon added each gen, but I don't. I could be wrong there. So I don't know. He's gonna tell us, I'm sure. Audio check. Development on one of the hardest projects in your life. Three years of non-stop 40 plus hour work weeks for a game that had over a thousand members of staff, all doing their absolute best in order to bring about a product that they believed in. But forget that, it's about time we talked about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Like all of the design choices in generation nine that are looking good and bad. And why there's absolutely okay. no reason that these games need to exist. Why it doesn't need to exist. We've had That's a new generation of Pokemon every three years since Black and White, where each project undergoes a development cycle that has had roughly one year of pre-production and two of in-engine development. In between those, we have another bundle of games that help prop up yearly releases and are either based off of games that already exist, games that existed a little longer ago, and some outliers that we'll get to in a bit. That feel like a lot of information? Well, good. Because if it wasn't obvious enough, Game Freak is stretched extremely thin, and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are just the newest in the line of entries to the series that make this business model appear continually more unstable. Developer Okay. Overwork is absolutely an issue for Pokemon, and besides having detrimental effects on the people that work on the games themselves, it's a series that has consistently lacked polish and features that future entries are always all of this is true. I really definitely lacked going polish after the announcement of smaller scale DLC to replace the typical B team third versions, constant recruitment of younger talent, which has led to some of the most influential people at the company, and outsourcing to other developers entirely for main series games. That yeah, has been good. The BDSP video, it's uh, just gonna be a while. Well, really maybe not stuff. that, but, but releasing the most well Pokemon, Pokemon Snap game was in the last decade back looked in polished. January, we've had about a month to let it breathe until the marketing machine kicked into high gear and gave us a new region, a set of three starters, and likely a director that's shown time and time and time again that he struggles greatly under the threat of a ticking clock. Shigeru Omori has never stopped working since he was given the reins of the series shortly after X and Y. He's one hell of a director for being able to release completed games that crumbled under an intense development period for a series with such a massive scope. Ugh. And judging from the publicly leaked prototypes of Sword and Shield in particular, it's pretty insane what amount of work his teams can do in just a couple of months. By the way, I gotta dispel this notion that the games are specifically being forced out of the gate because of the anime, card game, or even particular people when this just isn't the case. This series is so big and has Okay, so, so many he just said a lot of words really fast there. What he was talking about, I believe, was what people say, and I don't know the validity or non-validity of this, but they seem to say it's not true. I think that's what he was just saying. But there is a bit of a theory, conjecture, if you will, that the reason they always have to make a new game every few years, new mainline game, let me be specific, with new Pokemon, is because of the anime. This is a theory that is spouted. Well, with the anime is about to finish up, Ash is about to get to the end of the Who's It, What's It League. And that means there's not going to be anything for them to do because he'll be done with the region. So they need a new Pokemon in the game to come out. And then that way they've been on that cadence. And he's saying that's not true. To the point where it's never one sole reason, just a bunch of factors that combine to cause this type of situation. If you really think that it's the anime that's dictating the games because of a graphic you've seen online, then why was Game Freak granted a massive delay on Gold and Silver, despite Pokemon being at the height of its popularity during its development, to the point where the entire project might as well have started from scratch? The anime in particular has introduced multiple exclusive arcs to bend to the games, not the other way around. And um. So he is right that there was a big delay for gold and silver, but that's because like the game like literally wasn't ready. And again, maybe this probably would have some relation also to the fact that maybe they didn't uh, anticipate the first Pokemon becoming a global phenomenon. So I don't, I don't know if how much I align with his thought process there and for uh, the right half of this picture, which is the battle frontier, which was a bit of an addition to the anime when people may have thought like, oh, if they, if Gen 4 was out, they wouldn't have needed this battle frontier stuff. And, uh, you could probably argue back and forth on that. Um, one argument to be made would be that if you saw a lot of the, uh, what did we call it? The Giga Leak? that came out in 2020 it was or 2019 2020 and it showed um that gen 4 was 
in a rough place not long before the game was actually released so that could have definitely been a thing where they needed to delay it however that kind of supports what he's saying because he's saying if the games aren't ready the anime has shown that they can add extra stuff via orange islands with tracy and the battle frontier so it's both like for and against i suppose depending on how you want to interpret it you could say they were forced to do this because of delays and they wouldn't have wanted to which is a reach i think it probably supports his thought more where if the if they don't if the game isn't ready and it was delayed like what happened then they can do this other stuff so in the end i'm saying this does support what he's saying but giving a little more detail and honestly, the 2019 series can produce endless amounts of episodes until a new generation, given how it's structured. I think Legends also having separate areas instead of a full open world could allow for a couple of new ones spread throughout the year as DLC. Something that seems more than possible given how quickly the Daybreak update was pushed out by Iwao's team. Why not attempt to leverage the guys over at Ilka to shift manpower towards an actually functional game as a secondary developer? For main Pokemon games that are already out and could use even more content, which would give Game Freak significantly more time to polish Generation 9? Besides that, this constant this is all things that can happen leads to a complete uncertainty from the perspective of a consumer. We just got a game that revolutionized Pokemon interaction, completely rethought how the most basic series mechanics were understood, and gave people an experience unlike anything we'd seen for the series. With Gen 9 All correct, right? Arceus was Legend of Arceus, Legend of Arceus, however you want to say it. Definitely completely different than anything we'd seen before. Also time for me to get my first bite of my apple being planned and subsequently developed for two years at this point how much a legends dna is going to make it in there's no way that they have the time between now and release to uproot fundamental aspects of scarlet and violet to make it more in line with what people love from legends so the most that we can hope for is that scraps of its design managed to make the cut sword and shield had this exact issue with overworld pokemon according to omori the team worked hard to ensure that they made it into generation 8 after seeing the positive response to let's go but dude he goes by so fast Design managed to make the cut. Sword and Shield had this exact issue with Overworld. Pokemon. Let me read this According again. According to Omori, the team worked hard. The team worked hard to ensure that they made it into Gen 8. Oh, the features. To have the Pokemon roaming in the field. Wow, to interesting. To ensure that they made it into Generation 8 after seeing the positive response to Let's Go. But realistically, that gave them just under a year to effectively re-implement how the player interacts with the main mechanic of the game. The level design wasn't made to accommodate this type of gameplay, leading to big empty spaces in the routes that would have originally been wild grass. And the nuances that oh, Let's okay. Go brought with the Fair. mechanic, like size differences and visible shiny Pokemon, didn't survive the transfer process. Part of me kind of wants to go back and see what a more densely designed Sword and Shield might have looked like if the game wasn't forcibly built around overworld Pokemon in the last nine months. And I'm extremely concerned that the multitasking overworld or ride Pokemon from Legends are going to fall by the wayside in Scarlet and Violet. Or at best, are just going to lack the finer detail that it offered in those departments. It's okay, this makes sense to me. Concern because of how it affected Sword and Shield with the positive Let's Go reception. Worried that the positive reception of some parts of Arceus, they're going to try to shoehorn in last minute and make it worse overall. That's probably... Uh a pretty reasonable concern at this point at the very least it seems like we've fully done away with the immersion shattering pocket dimensions from sort of i was just was i just moved oh wait i still have this on never mind never mind shield which stopped feeling pretty necessary the moment we got into a system with a little bit more horsepower seeing the series all on one page is so satisfying after Okay. <laughs> so, is this what YouTube's like? You just have to talk really fast. I get that. Um, you don't want to be really slow, because people are like, "All right, dude, speed it up. I want to hear the information and move on." Same time. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me, but he's going so fast. The years of experimentation, which is something that I can also say for the fact that the entire game is now open world. 
I will say I'm a little worried about crowbarring the traditional battle system onto a setting where you can walk up to the seventh gym from the beginning, which is something the Legends got away with by designing the core systems around the open world and not being done the other way. Hopefully they end up doing that. Scarlet and Violet show a lot of promises new generation Pokemon games that promise a truly open world. But much of the game's potential is up in the air because of strict deadlines, a likely director that has struggled under those deadlines, and a myriad of features that the series is stumbling to catch up on. The fact of the matter is that the games are getting bigger, but the time to make them remains the same. And just Yeah, maybe we're just old. He is definitely right that... <clears throat> If the games are getting bigger but the time to make them remains the same and the budget slash resources of team people working on it stays the same or even if it does get larger you know i gotta really work judging from the way this game also looks i'd say that we're in desperate need of some more time in the oven <laughs> Before I talk about specifics when it comes to how Scarlet and Violet is looking, I think it's worth talking about the general art style outside of that, especially since the last time I did that I got a lot of views. Each of the Generation 9 starters showcase a fundamentally good understanding of what went wrong with previous trios, and harken back to a design ethos that felt long since abandoned when it came to starter Pokemon. When comparing 8 to 9, it finally feels like we're past the era of starters designed as characters first and creatures second. Which really does wonders for making these Pokemon seem like they can exist in this world. Cinderace and Inteleon especially suffer because of this. Being based off a of Right. So, I agree with what he's saying, but we also haven't seen the evolutions. And the evolutions could easily be Cinderace and Inteleon. So I don't- I feel like he's a little jump of the gun here. Because Score Bunny- Score Bunny and, uh... Sobble and Grookey all look like like reasonable Pokemon. Score Bunny a little less so than the others, but... Footballers and secret agents as their defining character traits, I refuse to believe that these apparently natural-born creatures can exist in the wild, when their major character traits are influenced by the existence of humanity to the degree of being what is effectively their entire design. It's basically a lot of words to say that they're pretty unnatural looking at their core, and the warning signs were there way back in the first trailer. For previous sets of starters, you typically Back, were they back in the first trailer? I mean, once you show the third forms, yes, but like, yeah, again, we haven't seen the third forms of these yet, so. Typically had an animal that corresponded to a particular type, and that was really it. Generation 8 introduced a creature with a type with a defining personality attached to it, a character trait that took pre Oh, okay, I see what he's saying. 40. All right, you know what? I didn't notice that. Fair enough. Precedence and as those lines evolved, became the centerpiece of the design. If you tried to graft those character traits on any other starter trio, Gen 9 included, it'd be incredibly forced since they just simply weren't designed for that. So It's funny because I think a lot of people for Piplup would have said, you know, sort of like, mm, stubborn, spunky, but that's all just because of the one in the anime. That's just because of Don's Piplup, not actually Piplup. So if there's a Sonic the Hedgehog design attached to any of these three, they're buried deep within. Besides feeling like animals that could just exist in the wild, there's also a lot of merit on keeping these creatures less human as they evolve, because Pokemon is a game about being a human living alongside these interesting creatures. When those creatures become more humanoid, that goal starts to muddy a little bit, and they start becoming less like partners and more like people with the attributes of animals, which raises a lot of questions. And listen, I know, Mr. Mime and Hitmonchan have always existed, but they were never your first and intended to be a beloved cornerstone of your team. It's it's less of the fact that a Pokemon is standing on two legs because lots of Pokemon do that just fine, and more so that a personality is being shoved onto a Pokemon that as a kid I'd rather have projected or made up the personalities of instead. Another big departure from the series art style, though I'd argue not for the better, would be these identical doll-like protagonist designs. The series always succeeds. What was that? Seeded by having a fantasy world that you grounded yourself in, and less so one that the games wanted you to relate to because you were also probably a kid going to school. Not to say that a series with a school setting and a young audience of mine can't work because it absolutely can. But with those, the general premise and character design do a lot of the heavy lifting. Something that these real uh -huh. departures from the Pokemon series art style don't do very well. As an adult looking I'm back- I'm not sure if I follow what he's saying there. Anyone else, anyone else want to chime in? I get that the protagonists look like children in school or whatever, but... It's not like the other protagonists have ever... I mean... 
I guess the other protagonists kind of have looked older because they don't have the school outfit, but I don't know. Even like, the earliest is like they they do look a little more ambiguous, I suppose. But the anime part, I didn't really get why he brought that up. He's trying to say that Yu-Gi-Oh guy looked more older or ambiguously of age, so you could sort of still self-insert. Designs felt contemporary and were emblematic of the series at the time. God, they're so good. Ken Sugimori's original art style was reminiscent of popular artists at the time, but his designs themselves were always appropriately Pokemon. The designs never felt like they were lacking. Yeah, like these are amb amb ambiguous enough. I, I guess maybe that's what he's going for. These are like ambiguous enough clothing where you can kind of self-insert yourself a little bit. A little bit better. Came to inspiration, being just fantasy enough to look a bit too goofy in real life, but grounded enough to the point where they fit a semblance of real world aesthetic the kids could identify with. And sure. in time, the series maintained that growth and literally matured the character designs until they got around to remaking that original game. This then set the standard for protagonist character design going forward, and as the series progressed, so did <laughs> design sensibilities. Whilst the legs and arms grew a lot longer, the bags, hats, and other accessories grew to match which all came together to create a ton of exaggerated designs that cast a pretty wide net of appeal. I can relate to the main characters of Sword and Shield in the same way as a person yeah, that's yeah, both that far so older bad. or younger than I am, which is a really cool thing that even Pokemon's pretty limited customizability helps out with. It's one hell of a feat to pull off for a series so huge, and it's why these significantly younger designs with a clear focus yeah, on the, lacking I that guess I, appeal I see what are a little worried. More now. The idea that designers are paid to design kids for kids to play as is something that Pokemon has historically avoided. By evoking a sense of cool to the designs even if they're not super cool. grounded in reality, Sunglasses. not nearly as much as these new designs are. Even the classic eye shape set in the mid-2000s has been replaced with a rounder variant, and departing from that classic Ooh. Pokemon art style will make them feel more generic above all else. I wouldn't care as much if customization was less scattershot, but this is Pokemon we're talking about. AKA, if you pick the guide design or care for having more than four skin tones, then you're shit out of luck. Though I'd be pleasantly yeah, surprised if Game Freak could prove right. me wrong on that front. It's only been, what, 10 years? Besides the models looking all waxy and really poorly constructed, these designs- <laughs> Sprite-based enjoyer. I mean, kind of, yeah. Simply aren't consistent with the rest of the series, and are likely extremely telling of how the rest of the characters and more NPCs with the new approach to character design. Scarlet and Violet are also more gonna... NPCs with the new approach to character design. But look, like we're witnessing the birth of an adjustment to what is a really This does look good. The eyes are still like a little bit circular, but. It's an art style, and like it or not, it's super fascinating to see. What I don't understand is why Pokemon fans are so adverse to people talking about changes to character design, good or bad, because it doesn't matter. People are paid thousands to do- That is weird when people... Not just for character designs, for, but for like generally any change. Exactly this. And if you're the one dying on a hill saying that nobody should put thought into this or that it doesn't matter, then congrats. You're only doing a disservice to the people that you think you're shielding from criticism. It's just so strange to me. Although I'm not too stoked about the potential of Scarlet and Violet's character designs, I will say that Game Freak have evolved the general aesthetic of the series when compared to Sword and Shield, so we better get into what those changes are. Generation 8 tried to go with a more realistic approach to world design for Gen its art 8. direction when compared to the it games that came prior, terrible. which had a lot of weird inconsistencies when taken as part of a full product. Galar itself looks alright, but there was a clear mismatch with the models that had textures designed for the 3DS's more cel-shaded approach, as well as the new direction for the series following Let's Go, which is still the most consistent looking Pokemon game since the jump to HD. As much as I- Yeah, Let's Go is probably the best looking one. Hurts me to say that we're no longer going down the path those games set, given how classically Sugimori they look. Game Freak seem to have taken a lot of cues from new Pokemon Snap and have retextured lots of Pokemon models to offer more realistic depth. Now they blend in with the world far more than the original textures that made each Pokemon look yeah. like super smooth balloon animals in Gen 8. Each model also seems to continue the trend set by Legends Arceus that turned many details that were originally oh, textures okay, into indents on that Pokemon's model, such as mouths, eyes, and other appendages. You could say that it's okay. a pretty minor thing, but even Stone Jonah, yeah, that thing, now looks less like its features are plastered on like stickers, and it goes a long way to improving that design. I just wish they were a bit more consistent. Surviper has these cool looking scales on its body, but Pikachu is still this amorphous blob of cheese. I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get that, but Pikachu, what do you want him to do? Pikachu's never really appeared furry in anime or anything really he's kind of always looked like a blob you just know that he's sort of supposed to be furry idea to fix one art style inconsistency by what is effectively creating another 
What I can't say the same for is the environment quality. I don't know what's going on with Game Freak's texture compression, but I swear it's worse than Legends Arceus, which had entire character outfits reduced to literal blurs. It's something I can <laughs> fix on my own when the game comes out, but that really shouldn't be the basis of considering whether something looks good or not. Any yeah, those look pretty well. strong art style can't really survive being poorly executed. Though what I assume is the start in the house shows a lot of promise. It looks both gorgeous Dude, in isolation. <laughs> piece of cloth is just so And also looking. real cohesive with the surrounded area and all the colors really pop. Feels like we're a far that cry away from Sword and Shield's pretty unappealing looking first trailer by comparison. The only issue is that when Sword and Shield looked good, it was because it had the added benefit of a fixed camera. These new towns and cities now have to be designed with a rotatable camera in mind. Which means yeah, the trailer close-ups like fair. these are under scrutiny because that's what the game can look like in motion. Games are absolutely subject to change visually as time goes on, but there are Dude, it so is many wild to look at some like even just this, like look how it's just you wonder sometimes. Could it could it have been a little bit issues in this one better. city alone that I don't know where to even begin. Huge frame drops in the Swablu scene, entire shadows missing from whole structures. Uh, I, 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 I hope he talks about the... This world has no correct sense of lighting. The textures on this back wall, fans. floor, or railing suffering from absolutely atrocious compression. I'm extremely skeptical of this area in particular because it appears to be a major hub for the game. Yeah. Legends had a similar issue with Jubilife, but I was willing to give that game a chance as it lacked any sort of NPCs in the initial trailer, and it's something that I was confident would be built upon over time. If these are the areas the Game Freak is choosing to focus on for their first trailer, I can't help but be worried for how this game is going to look. That's that the pervasive issues that every single game in the series since Sword and Shield has suffered from, and the common denominator here is that the time taken to create these areas is too little. It's easy for me to be excited for a new Pokemon generation because I see three cute new starters and a world to explore with all my old favorites, and I smile because it's everything I've come to love from this series. But there's always a little asterisk associated with a new game release because I know for a fact- Like this, these fans, like frame rate- That the like vision stuttering. these developers are going for ends up getting completely bottlenecked by a time crunch, and from a director that has a lot of almost amazing games. Imagine Oras, but that extra year was given to the Battle Frontier, which was absolutely planned to be in the game at some point. What about Sun and Moon that had all of its trials fully featured, proper attention given to the Ultra Beasts post-game instead of Fetch Quest, and all of Ultra Sun and Moon's follow-up ideas and concepts in one cohesive package? Or how about a Sword that and Shield that nice. came packaged with the DLC content as part of the core game on day one? A Sword and Shield with a fully featured Pokedex that had the time to be balanced, tested, and implemented. And a Sword and Shield that had the time taken to refine the finer details that we're just now following up on in Scarlet and Violet. After the breath of fresh air that was Legends, it's clear that the studio doesn't lack ideas or talent or new faces, but instead like the, the time Pokemon to let them make the games that they very clearly want to make. Absorb support studios as part of the I core brand mean. instead of porting them off to repackage games that they clearly didn't understand the appeal of. And most importantly, give this guy a break. Nobody at this company is some misunderstood visionary, but they are human <laughs> beings that struggle under a series that's collapsing in on itself. And I think of all people, they're the ones that want to prevent that from happening the most. That's fair at the end. You probably want that to happen. Yeah, I don't know, it's hard to say, right? Hard to say how I feel. Because he did sum it up as far as... There is some, you know, you're always like excited, but then it's just like you start looking it's like the more you look, the worse it looks. I would say at this point I'm definitely more likely to buy Scarlet and Violet than I maybe expected. Am I gonna freeze all these? No. Uh, let's be the bamboozled bones. No, let's be the confused chunk. Crispified chunks. Of what? I don't know. Of what? I do not know. Alright, we're gonna lose this because of the... Oh. Yep. I was hoping to think at the front. Maybe I should have gone to 2-3 at the front then, because then that actually would have ended up okay. But all right, here we go. Uh, yes. You don't really want to do an early level, but you know what? It's just going to do a lot of HP, so. Uh, 
I'm not going double monkey. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to move it over. All right, well, too late. Moth? There's the moth. Ooh, they got some HP as well. But this is going to kill the two in the back. That trades. That did not trade, but we trade in the end. If I didn't have those seahorses split up, or rather, if I did have those seahorses split up, I think I win. But unfortunately, those went in the wrong slot. I don't even really want to... Alright, whatever. Um... Do I care about a tabby cat? Not really. Maybe a peach, though? Potentially. A potential peach, perhaps? Okay, let's do this. Then let's do... This. Would I rather have a snipe or a shrimp? I mean, we're sp we could potentially be selling stuff still, but whatever. Whatever. Sure. Sure. Do it this way so that the seahorse, if they have like a unit with HP enough to live that- Yeah, that's exactly why we wanted to do that. <laughs> exactly why we wanted to do that. We kill that, and then we kill that, and then we kill that, and we win. Early Hedgehog doing some work. Early Hedgehog doing some work. I guess I'm going for a level 2 shrimp. Question mark. Peacock. Ugh. I mean, these are good things to buy and sell, I suppose. But that means I have to get rid of this chance at a, a level 3 otter. buy this and put it at the front and then we do this and then we pull do I want a level 2 hedgehog? I don't know I don't know what I don't know, maybe we're trying to get some early wins okay, this is gonna work pretty decent uh, that snipe was rather unfortunate if I'm, if I'm gonna be honest the snipe was very unfortunate, but we're still going to win. Alright, 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 hold on. Hold on, we got two wins. Alright, let's level... We're leveling everything, I guess? I mean... <laughs> so, what we could do... Is swallow a hedgehog to then trigger everything, and then when it comes out, it happens again. I don't know really if that's good, but it, I could do that. It also sort of feels like... We start with this, I think, because it's virtually the same. Well, no. Do we want to do... We're probably selling the seahorse soon. Let's... Fucking go for it. No. Because you're eating a 5-7. Let's do this. And then this. Yes. Yes. This is surely a good idea. And then I guess I'm freezing this? I don't know. This, this seems a little crazy. This seems a little wacko. But this looks like, oh god, everything is going to die. Everything is going to die. Everybody's dead. <laughs> the micro. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. Okay. Level. I could do that. I also want to do some buying and selling though, so I'm going to do that first. Sell me. You know what? Sell me. Buy me. Sell me. Kind of a big, big hedgehog. Uh, squirrel me, I guess? It, 
Dude, no, I can't eat a level. I can't do that. I can't do that. We have to roll. Okay, this could be a buy and sell, or this could be a buy and sell. We could buy the boost attack for one turn. That doesn't seem crazy. Buy like a 4-4. Four, four. Well, a sheep might just be better than that. 6 damage in total. And then we do like this. This is all very questionable. This is a good buy sell one, though. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, the, the sheep at the front is... The sheep at the front makes no sense, actually. I should have squirreled at the front. That would have made a lot more sense. Uh, this means that those will trade. This will win. Okay. Bit of a weird one. Okay. I think I'm buying a bunch of food this turn. I also think I'm selling this cheap. Right? This seems like Buffing the peacock, and then doing six damage to everything is kind of crazy. What do you do at level three, Hedgehog? You do six damage to everything? I don't think you're gonna get to level three, is the thing. But there's also nothing else for me to buy. You're gonna kill the giraffe anyway, which is a little awkward. Like, I could do this, but then that means the damage from this doesn't trigger this thing. And if I do this, then you also kill the shrimp, and I just have that hedgehog at the end, but the hedgehog is a faint trigger, so you don't want that to be a faint trigger? I could sell the squirrel by an armadillo. I guess. You would want the armadillo in front. I guess we can do that. That actually helps a lot. Because now that means this can live. Uh, you can also buy and then sell. So let's do that. Because I forgot that thing was that. So then we do this. And now... This can happen. Would be nice to get a level 2 peak. <laughs> but this is a big hedgehog. That's a bigger ladybug. What the hell? Oh, well, we're getting a lot of triggers. It's gonna kill the kangaroo. No, it won't. Okay, we lose. Alright, alright, alright. Not sure how that giraffe only has 2 HP. Maybe it came from a spider? Okay. Is it time to abandon this shrimp? Or do we want the armadillo? Or what are we doing? Like, if we're buy selling, an otter is a good one to buy. We can't pill this. How long do we want to keep this hedgehog around? How long do we want this giraffe? How long do we want... Like, how long do we want all of these things? I think, I think I'm doing this. Um, I mean, the, can the problem with the kangaroo, it will just die from the hedgehog. So... Not as interested in that. Let's see, so if I buy, I go to 6, I sell, I go to 7, I buy, I go to 4, I sell, I go 5, I buy, I guess I could do something like that, right? If I do this, sell, buy, sell, oh, but then a mistake was made. Well, I don't really like any of these anyway. Maybe we could do a squirrel again. 
I think I think we're about I, I think we're gonna t start losing is what I'm thinking. I think we're about to start losing. We don't do enough damage. Wow, that's a big ox. What did you just do? You changed everybody's stats? Everything is dead. Son of a bitch. You flipped everyone's stats, you son of a gun. Alright, well... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Just, am I really keeping this hedgehog? I guess I am. Okay. I mean, a leveled up rooster would help. Chocolate would help. This is a maybe. We're probably about to lose the game here, so, uh, you know. Keep that in mind, I guess. We only have three wins. We've had so many draws and losses. That's a big rooster. A very big rooster. Oh, and the seagull makes it. Oh, but our hedgehog just went nuts. What the hell? That's a big bus. But I think we win barely. That was a cool team, though. The way that the spawns make it so that the seagull gives the ants meat. Like, that's kind of, that's some, that's some nice stuff right there. I think I would rather sell. Buy. Sell. Buy. 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 Maybe. Probably not. Goat can kind of work with buy selling, but I think we're probably about to ditch this shrimp, is my guess. Yeah, probably about to ditch the shrimp, so you know what? I'm not even going to do that. Gorilla, you could get the coconut from that, so maybe. Okay. Giraffe never getting level 2, a little unfortunate. Peacock never getting level 2, a little unfortunate. Snipe the shrimp doesn't really matter. That kind of sucks, but that also stinks a little bit, but I think we can actually win this. Yes. No, we can tie this. If we were a level two peacock, I think we would have won that. <laughs> well, there's this, the scorpion that I talked about. Uh... Vulture is good with Rooster. The problem is we have this Hedgehog that uh, would definitely kill our Vulture. But this is going, right? This just has to go. So... Vulture works nice with this Rooster though, huh? But it's like, you kind of want the hedgehog in front of the... I mean, we could go like this, and then like this. But again, you still need the vault. You would, you, we would need to buff the vulture somehow. To have the triggers. And even then, you kind of need this. So that... Uh, there's enough room for both chicks to spawn. You could also just like, scorpion in the front, try and death touch something. Like, all three of these are possible options, is the, the thing. We're not really full spawn team, it's just the rooster. Gorilla works nice. I don't know, this is a flip of the coin here. I think... Gorilla is kind of nice. An orange? Not the best, not the worst. Cape here, summon one level cop. So this doesn't work good for us because, because um, there's no pill, so you can't like get the unit you want. We could mushroom a rooster to get, that would have been nice with the vulture strat. Do we really wanna 
get more hedgehog triggers? No, we want that to stay on there, so I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's roll then. A shark could go probably better than a gorilla. <laughs> probably better than a gorilla. The only problem is it's going to die this turn. So instead, this turn we go like this. And then... I mean... Death touch, death touch, hedgehog. I don't think I don't think this makes it. I don't think this makes it. The vulture, there's the vulture back. Okay. Probably too late for a carrot anyway. I don't know what's going on, man. One of these two we're gonna end up doing, and then pineapple. So maybe we vulture pineapple then. But we we do need some way to this vulture to not die from the hedgehog is the other problem. So, <laughs> anyway, we're gonna cross our fingers. I don't know what's about to happen. I don't know what's about to happen. Please don't be able to snipe. Okay, this is, well, uh, that's still kind of okay, sort of. Not really at all. They have three, well, you know what? Hedgehog gets rid of the melons. And we still lose by a lot because when our opponents get when our opponents get bisons, they work. When we get a bison, it doesn't work. <clears throat> okay. How what, how did I do there? I felt like there was a billion rounds, but I only won like a few times. Yeah, because so many of them were draws. All right. This is the one question mark. I don't know, dude. What do you want from me? Let's be the booming lawnmowers. I swear, sometimes people, like these pe the people that lawn mow at like 7 a.m., they buy louder lawnmowers. I swear. The Smug Baguettes is kind of a cool name. That's unfortunate because we lose. Them. If we had swapped. To make the ladybug in the front. I think we actually tie? Don't love this at all. Don't love this at all. I guess I'm buying this and then moving this here and then moving this to the front and then teaching. Gonna go grocery shopping. All right, good luck. I don't know what you need good luck for, but good luck anyway. All right, moth trades. Nice little mosquito snipe, and we're on our way. We're on our way. Yeah, okay. Not really interested in any of these. Sure. Maybe it's a two three, like I don't know. This up here actually. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Considered a pug, but I don't think it makes none of our units that level up it would really make a difference for. I mean seahorse a little bit, but Ooh, they're hedgehogging, okay. Uh, we tie. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Freeze. Next turn is... Freeze. Do this. Roll. Don't love that. Everything is ready to level up. <laughs> Everything on the team is ready to level up. Get some early level fours that can hopefully get us there. These ladybugs are always so gigantic. They must have been giving them huge peaches. That's what it is, right? Millions of peaches. 
Peaches, very me. I think we can win this? Yeah. Ow. I thought for sure we were losing when I saw that giganto ladybug, but... Alright, level. I mean, we probably gotta take it, right? Probably gotta take it. I almost want to just sell this right away. But I also don't really care about any of these. So I guess we roll first anything. Okay. Um, this one first, I guess. Ooh. Oh, man. Level? A deer? I would have to sell too many things to get a deer. But I don't think we care about this anymore. These are still good enough for next turn. Now I regret this, because I probably would be most interested in selling this one, but it is what it is, I guess. It's an early bison, so we, if we can get a level 3, that's good, but I just to froze two things in the shop, so that's probably not good. Dude, these fucking goddamn ladybugs. And then we mosquito snipe the peacock. We got no shot. We got no shot. We can't even do 21 HP damage in that. Maybe Ladybug is, is actually crazy. Okay. I'm selling. I'm buying. I'm rolling. I'm... Rolling? I'm rolling? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't want you anymore. Oh, I mean, to sell. I could have. I should, well, I don't want to sell that because those bandy We're buying this anyway. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. We can't roll anymore. Okay, then. Do this. And then this. And this. I, I'm falling for it again, dude. I'm falling for the bison trap again. Okay, the good news is that this... Bus can kill a unit at the same time. The bad news is... This... Uh, kangaroo is uh, level 2 and it's gigantic. <sighs> okay. Freeze. I, I, I can't do this. I just can't do this. Right? Like the, this one's the worst one of them. It's just the worst one of them. I have to. Immediately get an otter. Immediately get an otter. Um. Yeah, no. I, I, I remember we are going to lose. I fell for the trap again. I fell for it again. What the hell is... Does this mean the... Oh, uh, why did you snipe the micro? I wanted the microbe to trade with the... Well, actually, this still works, because now it double kills. So that actually worked out great. I think the same thing would have been achieved the other way around. Yeah, dude, level 2 bison, let's go. We're going all in on losing. Nice. 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 Of course, now we see, like, three giraffes in, like, two rolls, so that we, uh... Would have had a nice... A nice... Good old fashioned uh, level two giraffe after having two runs where we were looking for one forever. Okay, we're gonna probably lose to this peacock. Why does he have the order like this? Why doesn't he have a turtle in front of the peacock? Or he or she or whomever. We're gonna win? That's insane. If he, if they put. If they just gave the peacock one of those turtles, I'm pretty sure they just easily win. 
I'm pretty sure they just easily win. Um, okay. You son of a gun. Son of a gun. You're gonna make me do this. You're gonna make me be so close to a level 3 on two different things. We should have lost last round anyway. There's... Even if we get the level 3 now, it's already been too late. That's the thing. Uh... That kind of helps. But not really. Okay. Lucky that the snipe didn't kill that thing, but we still lose, like I predicted, so... Had three things that could have got level 3. None of them got there. You know what? I've... Everyone been using Ladybug but me. So let's lose this first round. Actually, we can do it this way. I don't mind having a... Uh... Yeah. Maybe we got, like, a Moth. And then next turn, we get a Ladybug, we buy a Peach, we go, we decide to be some wet bacteria, often where those come together. Turns out, this stream went from a, oh, we'll probably just do an hour of this, because that's what usually happens, into, um, actually, streamer. We're gonna lose every round for five hours straight. Okay, now's our time. Now's our time. We're ladybugging. We have two levels ready to go almost. We just need a third ladybug or a third. Oh, okay, so they're doing little uh, double iguana shoots on a turn. Really unlucky that the mosquitoes snipe the moth, but at the same time, there's two mosquitoes, so it kind of makes sense. We're going to lose? We're going to draw. Very nice that we got to draw. I'm willing to do this. I'm willing to do this. Right? Yes. I'm willing to do this, and then... Croissant. Freeze roll. Either I buy partway to a moth, or I buy another croissant. Buffs, I think buying the croissant gives us more of a win now scenario. Just because it buffs both ladybugs. But I like that. I think this is fine. Looks fine to me. A little unfortunate that that didn't trade with both, but I think we're looking okay. Yes, we are. I was thinking that was going to end up being a draw, but it worked out. Okay, halfway? Am I just croissanting everything on the team? I don't think so. I would much rather do this, and then, honestly, we could go for another win right now, we haven't lost yet, next turn's gonna be level f this anyway, so that, like, we don't really need, you know, next turn is where we would want another level anyway, not this turn, so let's see if we get it. So, our beetle is going to beat their first ladybug, and then it's going to mosquito. That's unfortunate. Why was our... Oh, these stats are just kind of close. Okay. I would have liked a level here. Okay. I think we got to do it now. Um, 
I think I'll do this, I'll do this, and I'll do this. Freeze this as a maybe level 3. Roll. Can buy this next turn. Maybe I should have cute. Cucumber kind of makes more sense on a peacock, doesn't it? But this is fine. The seahorse is looking to go next, I would think. Also, the if they have like a mothed up unit in the front, we're probably in trouble. Oh, we're in trouble anyway. This deer is about to own the peacock. Oh yeah, we're super dead. They got two early level. They got two level fours that were really good. Armadillo and and the deer there. Um, I guess I'm doing this. Doing this. I'm not gonna buy a pineapple. It doesn't really make sense. So we're gonna look for units. Not willing to do blowfish. Not really interested in those either. I know late for this. But I'll do that, I guess. Yeah, not feeling so great. This peacock, I think it's also I think the peacock and the seahorse are the most likely on the chopping block. I'd like to level the seahorse just to get a potential tier five or six or whatever early. Uh they got a level two iguana. Okay, that's okay though. The bunny is not the strong unit, so that getting sniped is fine. And turns out that was great. Not loving those, but um, okay. Don't think I'm interested in cheese. I may, like, am I really? Oh. I could buy and, but then, all right, never mind. Roll. Dude, I swear I always get fucking giraffes after I've tried to get one. After I picked one up. I only get them when I don't get to have them. I don't even think the words I said made any sense. A whale doesn't do anything here anyway. We're going sort of all in with the ladybug. Yeah, these deers are sort of owning our poor HP peacock here. Oh, they had a level two rat. That's a, that's enough to win there. Yeah, big time aardvark. Okay. Um, I'm not going to fall for this peacock shenanigans. I don't think. But first, let's start off with this. Now that's more like it. <laughs> that's more like it to me. I'm also interested more in getting rid of this. I'm interested in canning. I'm interested in an anteater. I'll buff the shark. And then I'll probably do this and just that one. And then this rabbit probably also on the chopping block. Uh, not really interested in any of this though. Fucking giraffe, dude. Fuck that guy. Okay. So we're we're ladybug shark is our main pieces here. The bunny is on the chopping block. The the squirrel has done enough. This guy is dead. Okay, this is good. We're looking good here. Ladybug had just enough attack to get rid of rid of everything when it needs to be. And the early shark, obviously. Not. The early shark, obviously nice. Okay, well, this is happening. Uh, then I'll buff this. Let's do this one quicker, actually. And then also, and then maybe, Maybe we get rid of the anteater for a lionfish later. I could also do this for a temporary there. Maybe we get rid of the squirrel soon. Amazing. Probably good, maybe. Eh. A 
Oh, wait. Uh, I still like these. Not interested in these, so we don't freeze them. Uh, do I want to do this? Maybe. I don't know. Okay, this could be the run. This could be the run. This could be the run. Turns out Ladybug might be enough. Our Ladybug's so much better than your Ladybug, but you do have a big old bison, or an ox back there. So that, that guy's a bit of a problem. It's gonna trade with the Anteater, I think we take this. I think we take this one easy. Nice. Perfect. Turns out, just go Shark as always. All right. Chocolate. Chocolate's kind of hype. Hmm. A snake. Uh, I think I think it's time to abandon the squirrel. I'm snaking. Uh. Shark level up's probably a little bit better or a little more important. I don't think I'm interested in enough in buying one of these just for a temporary ladybug buff. I don't think that does enough for me. So. Um, but this is good. This is good. I don't really know where this is gonna go. I suppose you could replace the anteater or the snake depending on what we want. If we want more ants for the shark or if we want the anteater works nice because I believe this is going to mean that this will attack three times. That's what I'm thinking, but we can't buy anything anyway, so let's just wait. Just, uh, you know what? Level 2 lionfish, though. But there's no, you know what? No level 2 lionfish because there's no, um, like, garlics and lemons and melons, really, anyway. So that was partially a little bit misplayed, but we got some stuff here for sure. They have a vulture and a shark. Don't hit the anteater, okay. Don't hit the shark, okay. I think we win. Cause now that's gonna, boom. Now this is gonna, boom. Anteater, snake shoots a second time. Okay, okay, okay. The vulture was certainly terrifying. Level two shark me though. Level two shark me though. Not roostering, it's too late. Plus we got other focus. I don't want our shark to die, so I would like to pair it. I, it's either that I'm going to try to continue buffing our ladybug via a monkey or Well, let's roll first. We're going to buy one more thing anyway. An ostrich is kind of insane. Gains plus one for each. I mean, this is already, if I was able to sell and buy, this would get plus three plus three and become a seven twelve. And that's just this turn. It's less, the, the reason I'm more interested in that is because it's less susceptible to rearranging issues, either from seahorses or like those vulture shots and things like that. At the same time, monkey buffs are always really good too, and you also don't really care. Would I rather sell the anteater to the snake? The anteater is probably better for the next couple turns. But the snake's probably better in the long run. But we can also get more level fives and sixes here. We did not get any, but that's okay. I'm still keeping these because I might still even dip this anteater for monkeys uh, in a bit. So a level two ostrich would be nice. It would go bigger much quicker. But who's to say? Okay, this doesn't work great with the anteater here. What the hell? Yeah, so one of the ants goes away. They're going psycho mode. The shark is living? 
No, it was about to start eating. Insane team. I cannot believe we just lost. The snake would not have saved us there. The thing is, the blowfish sniping the shark there, if it didn't snipe it that turn, the shark, shark eats twice because two things just died, and it would have lived the next... It would have traded. We would have drawn. If the fucking blowfish didn't snipe the shark that one spot. <sighs> there was three options. It was a one in third chance of being a draw. Crazy team. I kind of want to rewatch that. That was insane. That was that was the fucking team, man. That was the run. That was the run. Let's watch this crazy psycho build. Just hedgehog, whale, hedgehog, whale, blowfish. So, because of one of those ants, the shark didn't eat. This goes, triggers, triggers, right here. So, hedgehog goes again. Unit died. Shark will be eating, an ant will be passing HP. The ant unfortunately passed it to the front. If it passed it to the back, we still die. But I think if we pass, if the shark gets to eat because of the ant dying, then it would live the hit with like one or two HP. Which I guess would still end up losing. So never mind. Maybe it didn't matter. But I don't know. It still felt bad. Dude, that was the run. That was the run. The only thing that I was thinking about that was sort of. I mean, come on, I had to go snake there. You'd get double shot, it just made sense. If, uh... I don't think monkeys would've... I guess actually if monkey... <laughs> you know what, monkey actually would've won us that game, I think. Because monkey would've... Because the ladybug and the bison had like 2 HP each when that last hedgehog died. So then maybe, but maybe the the blowfish then would have sniped after it got hit by the it. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I am shocked how well that worked for them. Because they they weren't level two hedgehogs. They were all level one hedgehogs. But I guess in they get what one, two, three, four hedgehog triggers, which is two, four, six, eight to everything on my team. And then that's also going to be. Uh, actually, is it more than that? Two, then it pops out. Then two, then... No. Plus, then you get the four blowfish triggers with a pineapple. I think it was level two. So then that's a whole bunch of damage. That was wild. I have to go pee. And then I'll come back, and then FAW, we go again. What a wild strat. I really thought that was going to be the one. That was like good stats on multiple things. Level 2 bison. Shark level 2. <sighs> Alright. Alright. And this is, just, this is just a good stat team. Uh... Be the spotted ghost. Not in terms of being polka dotted spotted, but we spotted a ghost. I see you, Ghostbusters. Bustin'.
The Motherly Mammals is a good name. Uh, we win. Because we our second 2-3 didn't get put down to a 2-2. Easily could have been a draw. I don't hear music? Oh. It was just a muted song at that point. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, some chill or music. Okay. I guess I do this first, then roll. Freeze this. And... Okay. Is this? Freeze this. Yes. I mean, I could do the iguana shenanigans. I could do that, I suppose. Fucking ladybug. I haven't even seen a ladybug, though. You can't, like, put that evil on you, Ricky Bobby. This just kills my whole team. If the otter was front... I think that actually would end up being a draw, maybe? Like, if the 3-4 kills the otter... I don't know, whatever. We're leveling. Yeah, we're leveling. I'm doing it. Mm, that's pretty good for... Uh, Alright, that's pretty good too. I'm not gonna do this one, but it's not terrible. There is certainly some variety, I'll say. The early game has variety. It's either like seahorse iguana or moth stuff or I don't know. That's actually all I can really think of right now. I'm sure there's more. This is a problem. We lose. The unfortunate thing was that one mosquito sniping it early. If it didn't, maybe? I don't know, actually. Probably not, but Put these together. Bye. Bye. Cool. Hmm. Wait a turn. Hmm. Fuse. Um. We probably lose anyway. Put this second. Yeah. 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 First one in case of a moth. Although even then, maybe that's already too late. I haven't seen any moths this round. Yeah. Ooh, did that hit a blowfish? It did. All your stuff is getting all sorts of messed up. Perfect. Perfect. Although there was two one ones it could have shot, so. Uh. All right, dude. Sure, man. One of these. One of these. One of these. Breezy this. Roll. Yes and yes. Yes. They'll both be discounted. I want to give both to the blowfish anyway. I could sell this to buy another one of these for a turn, but also if we just get another frigate bird, then... Alright, that's an early one of those. We're freezing the whole shop. Or just freezing the whole shop. <laughs> I have don't have enough money to do everything next turn. I don't know what I'm... Not sure why I'm doing this this way. Okay, this will at least get the um, melon armor off. Then this will get a trigger and still die. And then we'll still lose anyway. What am I at? Am I on lethal? No. Okay. This I definitely want to have. This I'm giving up on. I'm giving up on you. I'm doing this for stats. We have six dollars. I could do this and this. I could give this more HP. This is only two. Let's do this and this for money efficiency. I will take this off. I will leave it on because I think that will make it cost one. I think that's how that works. I don't know. I don't know. Another pineapple wouldn't be bad for this mosquito. Again, dude, I'm falling for the bison trap. I have two almost level threes. All right, these are gonna trade, right? These are gonna trade, these are gonna trade, fantastic. This will kill this and get a trigger. This will take a hit and get a trigger. This will take another hit and get a trigger. 
then this will do this, and this kills. Alright, that pineapple is huge. This cost two still. Alright, never mind. I didn't I thought that was how not how that worked, but okay. Freeze? Not really interested in any of these. Level. Probably worth it. Maybe. Probably not. Because we had the level three with the seahorse anyway. Next turn is turn five, though, right? Oh, no, it's not. So then let's do this now. Because we can get something juicy like that that we would much rather have a pineapple on. The zoo, zoo, zoo with the kangaroos. Roos, and the I think we actually can't do this song because I'm pretty sure last time it got... Like, not DMCA'd, but it got yelled at, I guess. I don't know. Save this for a level up, potentially. I've been liking the squirrel, but I don't know what else I would sell. I guess the mosquito. It's gonna do two damage in total. This will almost certainly do more than that in total. We don't need two level threes. And then I guess we roll for some stuff. Not really interested in any of these, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would like a level 2 blowfish, would like stuff, yeah, I don't know. Mm, okay, so the good news is that this aardvark doesn't really do anything. And now those rats don't matter, and our vulture is killing stuff, okay. Things we need to do, make sure our vulture has enough HP so that it can survive Alligator snipes would be good. I would still be willing to take a bison. I'm gonna freeze one of these. I don't think I'm taking two. So, roll. Not interested, roll. Still not interested. I guess I'm keeping this for a while anyway, so I'm giving it more HP. That doesn't really matter. It does, but it doesn't. Um, yeah, and I don't really care about either of these. So, this squirrel, the, the blowfish not being level two, the squirrel is like kind of okay. It's nice because it spawns three items, so one of them could be chocolate. This is gonna be interesting. The vulture getting switched obviously is not the best. The snipes? Snipe that... Oh, I was gonna say snipe the bus, but you know what? This isn't so bad either. Wait a second, it is because we tie. The big monkey. Big marmoset. Big marmoset. I guess I'm canning. Because eventually I'm probably going to switch some of these out of here. I don't think these are doing anything for me. Maybe I'll keep a deer for a squirrel. Uh, none of these others are good. There's the bison. I think it... What I tell you though, once I bet buy a giraffe, then they don't show up. They just don't show up. I would also like pears to feed this vulture so it doesn't fucking die, but... Um... I think I need to do this and then do this because, well, mainly just because we need to still somehow get HP on something scaled up a bit. Okay, level 2 Vulture has some wings. Some wings. Uh, level 2, and then that's the HP for the Vulture as well. Yes. Please don't die this turn. I really need us to not die this turn. Don't lose. Please don't lose this round. Snipe the shark. Oh, that's really good. That's really good for me. Oh, if you snipe the melon armor, that would have been even better. I don't know if we have enough here still. That's a, that's a big peacock that is going to kill me. 
really needed to not lose that round. If if the vulture shot the frigate bird, then we, I don't actually don't think we would have traded with the peacock, but still. Okay, level the bison. Okay, giraffe is gone. Giraffe is gone. Stegosaurus is huge. I think we go here. Unfortunately, we can't uh, buff that. Not enough money. Uh, parrot kind of works, but we don't really have room unless we get rid of Blowfish, which is one of our best units, so I'm going to hold off. There's a world where when we potentially get rid of this, that we get a seahorse or something, but... Okay. Bigger Blowfish. It will take two hits. It will take three hits now, because the monkey. And we're golden. We're actually golden. So we we need to be okay, we definitely gotta buff the this guy this turn. We can't have you dying. I would love to have you, monkey, but it's just there's no there's no worth thing I can do unless I get rid of the blowfish. I can't. I mean, I could get rid of blowfish and then have the stego pump the bison and the monkey pump the bison and just go bison as fast as possible. I don't know though. That seems kind of risky. It's like if we this is why I would have wanted us to not lose that one round so we could have four HP so we could get that one little transition turn. You know? I guess... This? This is still good for Vulture. You don't want that anymore. Would I rather be Stegosaurusing the Blowfish still? I think so. We still kind of need these Blowfish triggers. At some point, probably soon, switching the Stega to the Bison. Ooh, so they're gonna move stuff around. Don't move the- okay, that wasn't the worst move around, to be honest. That could have been a lot worse. Obviously huge that we got the Shark. This is gonna be fine. Our Stega is gonna do enough. Our Bison has enough left in the tank. Okay, okay, we just don't- we just- don't have this thing in the, uh, okay. I think we go here. We go here. That is interesting. But again, we would have to get rid of Blowfish, which has still been good enough. And this doesn't really do anything for us now. Well, you could put it in front of a Blowfish so it gets extra triggers and stuff, but then you're getting rid of too many things. Let's... Bowl was? At some point I gotta give up on this blowfish, I think, though. An ostrich that's leveled might be enough. But it's not gonna be leveled, is the thing. Does a mushroom matter here? No. Well, you could, like, no, because you can't mushroom to that, because that moves the pineapple. We could just pair the vulture again, so it's a better chance of living. We could pair the bison just to speed it up. Again, we could do the monkey. It's going to give two and three, and then this is going to give 12. So it will be, like, almost a 50-50. I feel like as soon as I do this... As soon as I do this switch over, I'm going to lose. I know it's going to happen. This is going to be a 2130-ish something. I could also do the ostrich. I feel like if I do the ostrich, I'm definitely losing. If I do the monkey, we could still win. I'm going to do it. I know, I know, I know, I know. 
<laughs> if we lose, we lose. Please don't lose. Please don't lose this round. Please don't lose. We got a 3640. That's huge. Come on. Please. Please, the spotted ghost. That's a big mosquito. Move the vulture to the front. Yes. Yes, move the vulture to the front. That's huge. That's huge. I think. Oh, this is going to be close. No. Yeah. No. No. 2 HP. 2 HP. Uh And we only had six wins and that felt like a marathon. Oh. The thing was the 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 blowfish wasn't level two, it wasn't getting any HP scaling that was building up on itself. I Man. I don't know if we would have run that round if I just paired the vulture instead. But there's maybe a world where it would have. Oh, man. We got the good vulture switch too. That was that was not fun. <laughs> that was just not fun. Uh oh, oh man. <laughs> Am I making three? I... Uh... <sighs> I don't, the overexcited invaders, maybe? Am I making three dragons? Uh... I mean, I don't know how to answer that question. I, like, yeah, I guess? Why wouldn't I? We time. Draw is fine. Don't hit the other otter. Oh, you son of a bitch. I guess that's why people just do that instead. Those. Could have just done that in the first place, I guess. Sure. Save the money. Is there a reason I wouldn't make three? Out of the three that I have? Because you have to make them before you make the equip form, right? Don't shoot the moth. You son of a bitch lucky motherfucker. You mosquito mother trucker. He's back! Hey, why, why don't I see the thing? Which delay question mark? Which is we play it? I'm back. Super Donkey Kong! Was it me or did that like half play at first? And then it stopped. I mean this isn't the worst time to do a uh thing, but let's uh evolve, I guess. Sheep is still good. Early. Am I gonna fall for this level 3 thing again? If I, if I just sell this, I get an extra iguana trigger. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I have gold. Okay, none of that's good. How was your trip? Did you get anything good? Any, like, exciting food or mostly standard run-of-the-mill food? That's a lot of mosquitoes. Our moth is definitely dying. Our moth did not die somehow. That's a miracle. Oh yeah, we win. Easy sheep wins.
And I guess we can go for this. We can look for a level here, potentially. We roll. Save this for next turn instead. Boost. This thing, I guess. Uh, what you missed was some closer runs. The very last run, which I don't know if you got here in time for or not. But the very last one was looking so good. And I said, all right, I think I have to make a pivot here. And I don't want to. But when I do, I bet I'm going to die. And that's what's going to happen. And I just need to live one turn. And yeah. You can, you can extrapolate what happened. You could probably guess what happened. You could probably figure out what happened after that. Not really interested in any of this. Probably not a good choice. That croissant, but I don't know. I guess I could have rolled for more level ups or something potentially, but it turns out that croissant means everything. No, it doesn't. But... That's a big bus. That bus was freaking the best bus I've ever seen. <laughs> that was the best bus I've ever seen. That killed their whole team. Okay, this is an early enough giraffe where I'm willing to leave. Do I want the sheep or do I want the moth? The, mo the sheep is more stats right now, but... What am I even giraffing? I guess I'm giraffing this or a deer. I don't know. Either way. Um, don't care really about any of this, I don't think. Maybe a meat for the giraffe or something. Probably. Eh, maybe. There's the level up. Wait a second. Is next turn level four? Next turn is level four. Do I go for this? Nah. Well, what am I doing if I'm not? Probably nothing. A parrot? Maybe we wait for next turn? This can't be good, right? I have to be giraffing something else. The song is going off though, huh? I think this will be the first time that a, a, a sap stream has been, like, just fully that the whole time. I don't remember any... Oh, it's a pretty good... Pretty good team we're drawing. Okay. I was saying that was a pretty good, uh, bus. The buses have been nice so far. Look what we're doing again. Um, I don't know. Do I want this? I should have probably not done it. Let's can. That's kind of crazy, but let's do that. The moth is kind of nice because it's making the deer trade with basically anything. I think I would rather give you up to get this going. This will be good. Save this, maybe level up stuff. Save this for the chicken. Rooster. Whatever. Whatever your name is. Yeah. The deer is less likely to be able to trade. Now. Because no, no moth buff, but... Okay, there we go. It's still good. Their bison is not activated, but they also have fallen for the bison trap of... And that gets rid of both melons. I'm super happy with that. We're gonna win this one. We will, in fact, win this one. The tried and true rooster, maybe? Let's boost the roost. Boost the roost. Oh! Baby! 
Oh, baby, a triple. Okay. Yeah. We don't even, like, we might not even care about a bison, so we might just be getting rid of uh, these seahorses or the... Honestly, the seahorse had some pretty sweet moves uh, towards the end, moving sharks and... Um, sharks and... Whatchamacalls it's forward. Vultures. This is not looking as good, though. Well, actually, wait a second, with a meat? Oh, right, it's not that much damage. The stakes were close, close, though. How about our own vulture? I don't know if that makes sense. Let's go with the level first, that makes more sense. You know I love me my ostrich. You know I love me some ostrich. And as, as good as Vulture, Vulture's pretty decent here too with the roosters. It's trading a lot of stuff right now though. I guess if I sold this for two. This is the turn. This is our switching turn. We still want to buff the rooster because the chicks are just better than what this is going to be. Okay, give me level fives and up. Could have been better. I will also freeze a carrot. Okay, we have two. I think I'll keep these for oh, also this for uh, that. Okay. This is the turn where we're probably going to lose this turn. But we won't lose the game because we have 5 HP and we will only lose three. This is the story of a girl. Um. So next turn, I'm thinking, pineapple on vulture. Carrot on... Uh Oh, they're seahorse though. Ooh, okay, but it kills both of those. We could still win. We can still tie. We can still win. We can still win. Okay. That was about as bad as it could have gone for us, and it still worked. So I would say that's probably a good sign. Let's carrot the chicken even. Get it going even faster. Because this giraffe is only doing one. That's not a whole lot. This needs level fives and up. Probably just going to roll. Probably just going to roll. Probably just going to roll. Hello? Hello? Okay, there's one. That was worse than average luck, I will add, by the way. Uh, Yeah, keep this for now, just to keep helping. But... I'm thinking that this giraffe is replaced by a, a carrot already. So that's probably going. This probably going before the deer. But what I'm what I'm most interested in is what would I replace the giraffe with? A fox isn't the worst. Lionfish isn't too bad either. But let's see. That's a pretty big team. And they snipe the vulture, which we haven't really seen HP to do that with. Chicken living with one was good. Chicken living with one was helpful. We're not gonna be enough, we're gonna lose. Just by one HP, actually. If our ostrich had one more HP, we end up winning there. Obviously the vulture doesn't get sniped when there too, but. Okay. Giraffe, you are gone. You are stegged. I'm also willing to carrot the stega. I actually think the shark is n like you could maybe at the end take out th this deer and shark. You could do that. You kind of still want the vulture at the back, so I don't. You know, they're, they're a bit at odds with that. Either way, we're gonna roll at least once. Give three pets random one one or two random pets four. Uh, I mean, honestly, leveling up some of these things would be great. So I'm kind of want to roll more. Okay, this is good. Now we can use this on the vulture to try to keep it alive. I think this makes the most sense. The, the ostrich isn't scaling that fast because it's only level one, but we got some decent stats. This vulture is still definitely snipable by an alligator. Or a croc or whatever, right? It does eight. Yep. 
It does eight. Good news is the bus gets to do a lot more. We can still win this. Because level two rooster, baby. Level two rooster, baby. Um, I suppose I could have maybe unfreshed some of these to actually see some real stuff. We don't want a mushroom. Let's do this. Now our vulture is in range. We didn't really care what the other part of the orange hit. Hitting the deer is fine, but it was more about making sure the vulture doesn't die. Okay, one more roll. Okay. Unfreeze, unfreeze. I wonder if a scorpion is better than a deer. Not sure. The 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 boat the fucking whatever has done some decent work though, so. We got a lot of, we got some carrots going around. We got some stegas, stegging it up. A level two vulture would be nice for sure. They have a level one vulture, but they also have a parrot that does the same thing. Okay, this bus huge kills two at once. They are sniping a lot, but we are also sniping a lot. They're sniping a lot. We're sniping a lot. They're sniping a lot. We're sniping a lot. They're sniping a lot. They're sniping a lot. We're sniping a lot. Wait, okay, I think we lose. That's a really tough one to... That's a really tough one to swallow. That's a tough one to swallow. If we had a level 2 vulture, that could have maybe won. If we... Sw what were we thinking about swiping the deer for? A... a uh, scorpion? I don't think that would have mattered, actually. Our bus taking out two of the sheep at the same time was a good thing, kind of. I guess it didn't really make a difference, now that I think about it. No, I mean, it was good, but it was... Yeah, that was probably for the better, but... Man, we just can't fucking get there. These teams... Like, this is a good team! This is a good team. Am I losing too many early? What is it? I, at first, I was saying this is not a snipe weekly, but maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it is. Move this up here. Move this here. <sighs> okay, let's be the huge piggies. Gigantic baby pig. I guess that would be piglets, not piggies, but whatever, you know. Uh, that was actually not what we wanted. But it still worked out either way, I think. I think I would rather have two ships. Okay, well, I mean, I'm gonna take a level like that. I don't know if RPV was going to unpack or if they got distracted with some more RuneScape or something, but I, I was wondering if they got anything exciting food-wise. Don't move the moth, don't move the moth, don't move the moth, don't move the moth. Look at all these level, these early snipes. Okay, I think we win. Because we're gonna snipe that, and then those trade, and we win. You got sushi. Otherwise, mostly normal food and such. We do this, we do this, we do this, we do this. I hate it, I hate it. It's probably fine, but I'm still gonna act like I hate it. Um. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't... I don't know. Level 3 Seahorse, like, would have been actually really good at the uh, end of that... Those other 
those rounds just to push the vultures up and such. Uh, I think we're winning? Question mark? Actually, it's gonna be a. No, we're gonna win. Close. You're on the verge of needing eggs, but held off. Is the reason you would have not held, or the, is the reason you would have held off because of we're like super anti-spawn team right now because I'm not doing those for a level. Because you don't have room in the fridge, or because you didn't think you would have eaten and cooked them? Like, eggs usually last longer than what the carton says, in my experience. They have more iguanas than me, because I fused the two together, and they have no spawners. So I'm losing this one, almost 100%. Oh, wait a second! The math worked out nice. I thought the uh, their big seahorse would have gotten me. You couldn't remember if you had a half dozen or less. I see. But you could have always done like, uh, that thing that I... S I really want a pineapple. Yes, I'm... Yes, I am. I guess I am. As soon as I sell this aardvark, we're gonna get a bunch of spawners on the other team. There we go. Oh, you know what? Giraffe early. Giraffe right now. Fuse. Giraffe. Giraffe the ladybug. Keep this for a level next turn. Bull. No. Maybe? No. No. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse to try and level through this seahorse. <sighs> Maybe that's not true, though. I don't know. The bad, uh, you know what, this kangaroo is actually doesn't really make sense at all where it is. What? Okay, that did not work out well. That did not work out well. Okay, fine. Alright, this is happening. Uh, maybe I maybe should have this uh, ladybug at the front. But I'm worried about getting mothed. Eh, instead, we're getting mothed anyway, regardless. So it even wor worked out even worse. Because now it's going to kill the ladybug, and now we lose. Pretty sure we lose anyway, even if we have the ladybug in the right spot, but this is where we always lose, right? In these mid-rounds, we just get destroyed every time. Every time. Every time. Probably gonna lose this round, too. I would think. I'm falling for it again. It's happening again. This back here, though, this time. No level 2 iguana. But we have a bison. We have two things that are 2.333 repeating, of course, levels. We need to not lose this round. Which looks possible, actually. This looks like a, a winnable round. That's a... Well, but we, they get. Oh, but that's a big boy right there. Oh no! We need to not lose that one. Now we're in lethal. It's all over. It's all over. Sell the stock. Okay. This is just not. This is just not gonna go. This is just not gonna work. I should have sold the squirrel. I can't buy it. I can't buy it? I can't buy it?
This is terrible. Have I? Don't say have you ever won 10. You've seen me won 10. Just not in this weekly. That's all it is. Just this weekly, okay? Oh, this bus is gonna go to town. Look at this. Snipe, though. Bus snipe. You know what? I think we got something here. If we didn't get that Ardvark pushed to the front, we would have lost. But because we uh, did that, we are alive still. We have another 5 piece. That armadillo would have been kind of nice, actually. But, okay. Boom. You're gone. Honestly, you might also be gone, but let's put you back here. Let's... You know what? You're gone. Roll once? No. We're four squatting on lethal. I know this is crazy. I know this is crazy. You know what we should have been doing this whole time? We'll do it next time if I don't win. If we go again, I'll do it next time. These buses are a problem. Oh, we lose. Yep. I don't think uh, keeping the iguana... Well, no, I don't think that keeping the iguana alive would have really mattered that much. It would have sniped the ants, but I don't think... Uh... Okay, here we go. I do this thing that I wanted. Kind of pull up the gunners? No, I'm trying to pull out how to edit a prediction. How do I make a prediction? Prediction? The hell is going on? Which prediction? Add. Okay. Added prediction. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. How many wins will I get? Zero to one. Two. Three. Four. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, prediction is live. You you figure out how to do it yourself. You have to put in channel points to do it. All right, you need me to do sunglasses. Okay. We'll do the silver sunglasses. This is the last run of the day, probably. Because it's nine. Alright, we're ladybugging. Freeze me. Freeze me. Roll me. Maybe. I don't know if you guys... Did, did any of you even predict anything? Is, any, is there any money on the line? Alright, someone did four. Only one person. Uh, probably RPB. Vicious probably can't figure it out because he's like on an Xbox or something. <laughs> okay, let's be... Let's be... The underwhelming monks. They kind of like aren't even wearing the, gra the grub, they're sort of not even... 
Like, they don't even have the shaved heads. They're just kind of showing up. Like, oh, yeah, uh, we're the monks. I don't even know. We're losing this round. We're tying? We're, we're tying. We're tying. Okay. That's fine for me. That's a good result with a double ladybug strat. Okay, this... I really don't care about the mosquito. This is of interest. One thing I have learned is that the ladybug seems to do well for me. I give it an early croissant. I give it some, some other HP stuff, and it seems to do decent. It's like the only early game unit that seems to do well for me beyond potentially sometimes an iguana if it gets leveled quick enough. Level the mob. I'll take a rabbit. I don't care. We're buying food anyway. Uh, I'll freeze because we only have enough to buy one thing anyway. Would I rather have it been a pear or not a pear? A uh... yeah, a pear. Yes, but I would still rather do this too. This at the front for the moth tech. You know what? Bunny at the front for moth tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bunny at the front for moth tech. Now you may be thinking, why aren't you leveling this up? Because these things, when you feed one, they all get plus one, plus one. And it's going to be better than most things that I buy right now anyway. Or more sticking around than other things anyway. Uh, Yeah, let's go. I guess the only bad thing could be here that like a, something snipes this rabbit. But I don't think it's going to happen. So boom. Look at there, we got the map. The moth tech is real. This thing is gonna take us home. I've learned some of the early game here. And early wins are the same <laughs> amount of a win as a late game win. Okay. Do I, and a hedgehog could also get us some early wins. We've seen it before. We're not really selling friends. But I don't think shrimp is where we wanna be. Hedgehog could do some stuff. It would mean we have to get rid of a ladybug, potentially. I'm not really interested in keeping that. Next turn is when we get to turn three and then maybe we combine these. Let's freeze one. Okay. Each. I will also be willing to do this now. Just a half, just half. And then we go here. And we flip this as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like this. What's a doggy? This is a cat. Unless there was a pug or something I didn't see. Alright, rabbit. Rabbit trades with the pig. That's fine. The... This is gonna be interesting. We're gonna tie. A tie is fine, honestly. A tie is fine. I'm not going for a level three uh, off, though. That's just not happening. Okay, time to level. Are we gonna go crazy mode? Perhaps we will. Perhaps we will go crazy mode. I don't know if I'm interested in a level 2 bunny necessarily, but what else am I going to do with it right now, right? I guess I could meet the rabbit or something, or meet the, like, something, uh, you know, I could do something like that, I guess. Uh, but, you know what, this rabbit will die if I don't, because this is going to eat the hedgehog. <laughs> So these are going to be on like one HP each. So this is going to be an interesting round, I will say. Decent chance I could lose here. Definitely a decent chance I could die. They got a lot of low HP units though, and they have a lot of meat on the team. What the heck? You know what? Double Hedgehog is just going to kill them. So we just win. <laughs> Double Hedgehog is just going to kill their entire team. All right, here we go. 
We got some stuff to work with. <sighs> Is it time to get rid of the moth? I don't know, but we're gonna at least peach this. We're not looking for any level three. We're not. I already said we're not level three in this moth. I don't think I care to keep it because it's not. I don't. I don't know if this even worked. I didn't even see. Did anyone see if the moth buffed the hedge the whale, or did it buff the hedgehog and the hedgehog died? I don't know. I think because of the same power, it might have not. But whatever. I'm selling. I'm buying. I'm. Do I need to freeze this? I don't know if I'm really interested in freezing. Not freezing. Cucumber right now. Level 2 bunny. I like that. I don't like that, though. And then I don't think I'm interested in these. We also don't have money for them, so roll. Maybe. Roll. Maybe. Probably not worth freezing, though. Okay. Well, let's see if the double hedgehog death can... Uh, get us there actually this giraffe is going to die but you know what it kind of has to to buff this uh ladybug so um okay the good news is that when this hedgehog trades it will get rid of the rest of the armor and then i will barely survive and win so our backline units are dying because of double hedgehogs so it may be worth well first i'll do this then you know what i'll even do this so this doesn't die that seems reasonable then i will roll double turtle is interesting because you can you know you can whale the turtle but just keep buffing the ladybug I mean, it, it's arguable. You could you could turtle the the whale because then the whale will also melon the ladybugs. That's pretty good. Might be time to abandon this hedgehog, perhaps. It's a little unfortunate that the like there was a world where you could have had the hedgehog be able to kill the, the baby chicks that come from the rooster, but you know what? That's four wins, and I know someone predicted four. I know someone did. I don't know how you see the summary, but anyway. Uh, do I just keep buffing the ladybug here? We know that the hedgehog doesn't kill the giraffe yet, I guess. So, yes. I think so. Mm, am I interested in cucumbering stuff? Not really. Because we'd rather, like, croissant things so they have more attack. I mean, sure. Whatever. Again, this is kind of interesting. The hedgehog has been doing a lot of work for us, though. I guess I'll do this for, you know, some turns. It's probably better than a cupcake. Could also arguably just roll more. But using using a shop food also bumps buffs the uh, ladybug temporarily. Where I think we're going to very soon start to fall off. And this is already gonna be a problem with this uh, level two. This level two is gonna do a lot. Uh, it needed to kill that one turn. If it killed the, the puffer, the blowfish, that was our first loss. If it killed that puffer fish, blowfish, with the one attack, then it could have traded by killing the other two with the remaining HP. But, alas, was not to be. I don't think I'm interested in it. This I'm interested in. Hmm. End turn. Give current and future up. Like, this is like, kind of, this is like almost, this is like a chicken build kind of thing, but a little bit slower. And by a little, I mean a lot. Well, I'm not on lethal. So, I think I'm more interested. 
probably getting rid of this soon, though, is the thing. The, 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 it's like, I kind of almost need to sell both of these. Rather than sell the rabbit. So maybe I wait a turn, then. And I do this. And then next turn, I potentially buy the croc and the lioness. And get rid of the uh, whale and the hedgehog. I think that's not crazy. I guess maybe I would have wanted to buff the bunny for a turn, but... We'll see. They have an early ostrich, so that's good for them. We're going to trigger their peacock, which is bad for us. Okay, good news. Hedgehog's going to get rid of all of these melons. And I think we're going to be able to take it from there. So, The hedgehog has been great for killing melon armor. We're at five wins, so that's beyond whoever had uh, the four bet. But I still think this may be the time. It's it's either the whale or the bunny, but it's like, well, then at that point, you gotta kind of do this, and then you gotta do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and then, uh... Kind of are looking for, like, a pineapple. Okay, well, that's pretty good, too. This will be good for the bunny. I think we just do this. Because it's gonna buff every single person. And then... We, we almost want to lollipop this ladybug soon, huh? But we can wait. We can find that another time. These are both really good with bunny, so I think I'm going to keep them. As much as I would like to look for a pineapple. A vulture, but we're not really spawning stuff, so... Look, I don't know. We, we, we could get rid of this Linus, grab a fox, it gets buffed by rabbit stuff. When we eat food, it buffs ladybug. I don't know. Maybe that means we want to do this. Maybe that means we put the... Maybe that means we're buffing the croc. Maybe that means we're keeping the croc. We're buffing both of these. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. We don't need our croc at the back to be the sniper. If our bunny gets sniped, who cares? It's a 3-8. I don't think anyone even even bet besides RPB, unfortunately. Okay, that's not great. But we do damage through Melon Armor because we have over 20 attack. So boom, all of a sudden, we're at 6, and we got some HP to spare. Lioness is going to be buffing these, these units. Uh, yeah, it did do that. Okay, level 2, potentially. You know, call me crazy? Double sushi. The bunny with sushi goes crazy. Pizza will also go crazy. Sushi will go crazy. I know we're missing levels, but this stuff's popping off. What do you want me to say? This lioness may be useless. Maybe put it at the back. Just go ladybug big to start. Not crazy. Not crazy. Imagine, though, if I had a fox and it eats one of these. Then gets an extra bunny buff and this extra buff, too. <laughs> I think that's kind of why I'm holding on to this. Like, when I maybe don't want the lioness anymore, could switch to that. Uh, okay, they got vulture, but we snipe it with an alligator. There's some shifting around. Oh yeah, we win this easy. Look at this. Look at this. Ladybug, what did I tell you? I learned. I learned Ladybug is the way. And look, also, we finally got a level 2 giraffe. We gotta do this. I don't think a level 2 Linus is really what we need. I also don't... I kind of almost want to, like... Well, you know what? No, because our HP, you know what? Never mind. I was going to say, like, you could lollipop, and I'm like, wait a second. We have a croissant. We should be lollipopping. Uh, what we should be doing, though, is getting a uh, pineapple for this crocodile. I think I would rather just buy two foods, though. Just you get the, the ladybug buffs. You get the, the bunny HP buffs on everybody. I don't... 
You know, like may these units can be good, but you know what? Linus can just keep scaling them up. Uh, the longer we can wait and let her do her thing, buffing these every turn, the better we go. Uh, and and you know what? In that sense, I'll, I'll hold on to to this. I'll hold on to this. We even would we even want us? Yeah, we would. But anyway, keep this. We're not sharking. We're not sharking. We don't need to be sharking. The Linus is definitely not that fast. It's only two each turn. It's not like a chicken build where you're getting a ton of triggers at once, but... Uh, okay, level three. This is a potential scary one. Oh, but the big... The Croc Snipes are huge! The Croc Snipes are huge! Look at them go! Oh my goodness! Interior Crocodile Alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. <sighs> sushi me. Just sushi me. Look at this. Look at this. We're going off. I could maybe arguably start doing like this. Maybe we don't want as much attack, but I don't know, man. Let's do a roll first. Am I interested in any of this? I mean, we would have liked a pineapple, of course, but... A cupcake would be a little silly. I think we would rather roll to maybe find some extra stuff. We could also just fuse this in. Make it a little bit bigger, but... I mean, that's a 1227. Like, this is a lot of HP. I think we just do this. We roll for some good items. There's the pineapple. An ostrich, we could shake that in instead of a Linus. We already almost have a bunch of this stuff too. This this all seems fine. We're at seven HP, we have eight wins. Croc, huge. Croc has been amazing. Can he do more? Can he keep it up? Can he save our runs? Not this time. That is a big bison at the back. These will trade. This won't trade. We're going to lose this round. The big bison at the back. We need to be seeing shark and vulture teams. Those are our targets. Those are who we're looking to kill. I think I'm interested in ditching this. And vulturing now. Or not vulturing. Ostriching. And then we don't need this. We already have our pineapples. So we sushi. Boom. This is buffing both of these. I think that's fine. This rabbit could potentially get switched to here. Too late for a carrot, I think. Um, I guess maybe this in front of this. I don't know if that really matters. I mean, a lollipop for on one of, like switching one of these just so they actually do damage could be good too. I want to unfreeze any of these. Probably unfreeze at least two. Our ostrich is already about the same size as our lioness was. Maybe a little less HP, but some similar attack. That's a big bison at the back. That's a problem again. These big old bisons. But we're going to trade with this. We just got to take down a bison. We could do this. We can barely do it. Oh my god, it was a draw. That was so close. That was so terrifyingly close. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> that was so scarily close. Oh, man. Alright, let's do this to speed up the ostrich just a smidge. Because it is what it is. I might do this on a rabbit just to help. Level 5. We want to keep the level as much as we would like to do that. We gotta do this. We do this here first. We save this for next time. We undo this one and this one. We're not even on lethal. We don't even... We're not even on lethal. Wait. We still have one more roll. Okay. Now undo this and this. Honestly, no, well, whatever. 
Level 2 ostrich would be very nice. But that would be very hard to hit. Look at this. Ostrich is getting bigger. Big, big quick. Ostrich is getting big quick. Okay, snipes in the back. It's not going to kill their shark, though. But it is going to leave them weak. This is going to be a lot of triggers for the shark, though. That's really problematic. It's also extra problematic with no garlic and stuff hanging around. Okay, those kill. I think we lose. We lose. Unless this bunny doubles? No, even if it doubled it. Actually, if it did double, it might have been enough. If it double triggered, it might have been enough. Okay. We gotta do this. Level 2 ostrich is huge. We could meet the... We could meet the giraffe for a turn? I mean, I don't know. What... We're on lethal. Who maybe? Who knows? Maybe the four damage matters. I don't know. I don't know. It's time to start praying. It's a big. Look how big the ostrich is getting. It's getting so big. Maybe that was the turn we needed to switch out the giraffe. I don't know. Oh, we'll kill the shark. We kill that shark. That's what we need. That's what we need. This is doable. This is doable. The snake's gonna get triggers for sure. The snake's gonna get triggers for sure, but this ostrich is popping. This ostrich is popping. Let's go! All right, one more, one more. We need one more, we need one more. One more to go, one more to go. One more to go, one more to go, baby. Okay. Now the question is, so Leopard deals 50% attack to one enemy, one random enemy. So it would do nine damage to something. We could also just get another crocodile. Basically, I'm looking at this giraffe and thinking, you're virtually a 1230. This ostrich is almost going to get to max on its own this turn anyway. Um... Would an extra crocodile trigger, or a leopard trigger, or perhaps a, some snake triggers even behind a ladybug, or an ostrich, would those be worth more? We also almost don't even need this rabbit. We could probably switch out both of these for leopards. Like this is, you know, this is for either 10 wins, or we lose, right? So we gotta think about this. Would we, we could go double leopard, take out the giraffe and the rabbit. The rabbit's doing 14 damage. This would do 9 damage and then 18 later when it attacks. Same with this. So that's, I mean, this is virtually going to be doing, what is it? 27 damage, 27 damage. That's much more than these. So I'm thinking we're going to sell these. Now the question is, do I want to buy any food first? Not really, not with those. So I think I start here. The other question could be, do I, would I rather have a croc? To shoot whatever is at the back. That's, that's, that's a legitimate question. There's also the snake. You put that behind a big unit, if it gets multiple attacks, that's obviously gonna get a bunch of triggers. So it's kind of, I don't know. We also, of course, wanna have some things up here for the ostrich to gain. So, you know, it's a little dicey. It's turn 17, which is pretty late to the party. Pretty late to the party, huh? Do I sell this bunny? Do I sell this bunny and if I sell it, what am I buying? I think I'm buying a leopard. Then I'm rolling. It's pretty good. Uh, would I rather the snake or the leopard? The snake. Please get some level fives and sixes. Okay. 
This either does plus four HP to two things, or I could roll to try to get, no, I think this is just more worth it on average. And here we go. This is do or die, I think. I suppose you want this at the back, it has a little more HP. Okay, all right, here we go. Do or die, baby. Almost a full ostrich. Almost a full ostrich, too. I I think selling those those giraffe the giraffe and the rabbit's gonna be big here. Look at those big snipes at the back. That's a dead we win. We just win off of that. You kill both the vulture and the shark, we win. I don't even have to look at the screen. This is the easiest win of my life. Look at this. Snake trigger. Snake trigger. Dead. Let's go, baby. Woo! That's how you like to see it done. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see, baby. So the thing is... Uh, I don't I don't think you lose any points because no one bet 10 right so you just get your money back right is that how it works or does it just go to the house and you lose it I don't know nobody thought this would happen exactly it was the glasses you were right you were right it was the glasses uh, you like that smart th I almost was about to like auto auto uh, auto complete not auto complete again autopilot and just all right there's nothing else for me to do go again but I was like wait a second this is like super lethal like we either draw we lose or we win which is always the outcomes but like lose lose or win win so go all the way get the extra honestly we didn't even need, we literally did not need two units on our team there. We still would have won. Just the, uh, Brock, the bug, the ladybug, and the, uh, ostrich were almost enough. And we could have had, like, still the bunny and the giraffe, and I believe we would have won. Pretty sure. But, what I tell you? We go against those big bison at the back? We're done. <laughs> we go against a vulture or a shark at the back. We can make it happen because there's no defensive, uh, you know, holding items. There's no melons. There's no garlics. There's no lemons. So those croc snipes on vultures and sharks are just always going to get a kill. Whew. Well, we went through the ringer. Um, certainly wasn't what I would have expected today to be. I thought this was going to be like a, I get a ten-piece win and. You know, uh, uh, an hour, an hour and a half if it's not going so well, maybe. But we took the whole damn stream and then some. We took the whole damn stream and then some. What can I say? I was expecting to maybe have to figure out, like, oh, do I want to do some Mario Maker? Do I want to do some other thing? Oh, I'm not sure. This or that. The one weird part about that team was just that the, the Ladybug was forever like a 30-50. <laughs> it felt like it was a 30-50 forever. Uh, I suppose I could have maybe got a bit that higher up to a 50-50 if I left the Giraffe on it. But I just felt like we were only getting... We were basically just croissanting it an extra time every turn. Whereas buffing up the Croc to me felt like... It's a trade-off, right? Because maybe a 50-50 is better. But the extra stats on the croc felt good to me just because usually it seemed like most teams either had two two big units or so and then some like stuff that are being used to buff them or you know a bunch of spawning units with some shark or a vulture or, or, or a snake behind them like that kind of thing i don't know it just felt like it made sense to, to buff the shark 
Brock, rather, for for a bit. The double chocolate, that, that turn where we were giving to level up the ostrich was obviously gigantic. And, uh, yeah. Got there. So tomorrow, I'm not going to be streaming, but I'll tell you what, what I'm up to. Tomorrow, I'm going to be going to the Dominaria pre-pre-release. Uh, or at least going to the place where there would be one and hoping there's enough people for it to fire. If not, honestly, it would it, like it would be fun. But if it's not, I'm like, all right, well, I'll still get my kit. I'll get a kit for them so we can play later on our own like we usually have been the past two years for COVID stuff. And uh, then I'll get more time Saturday to work on videos or who knows what. It is, is what it is what it is. But if there is people, then uh, I get to I get to uh, do a pre-release for the first time in basically forever, uh, which will be kind of cool too. There's two turtles in the set, I think. I know there's at least one. I think there's two, but one might be in like a commander special thing instead. I'm not sure. I didn't shave today. Usually I would have shaved, but uh, my shaving schedule is a bit off because of stuff that happened this week. And Sunday, I'll be going to a wedding, so I want to be able to fresh shave then. Which means I could have shaved today, and then I decided not. Usually, I go every other day, so it's like Monday, usually the stream days. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday <laughs> are usually when I shave. Usually, I go every other. Or no, not Monday. Usually, it's Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. Sorry. Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. And then... Monday pad days I usually have a little bit like this, and then um, Tuesday will be when it's at its longest, or I guess Wednesday morning, technically, but yeah, pre-release tomorrow, if it, if it fires, it's going to take up my whole day, if it doesn't, then I'll come home early and have time to spend doing other stuff, um, Sunday will be the wedding, and there's no chance I can stream. Like, I, I think it starts at like 5, so who knows when it ends. I'm probably not going to stay there that long. I imagine if I came back, it would, I would be tired anyway. So The next time you'll likely see me is um, Monday. However, um, however, I'm going to say... There was a new video that went up today that was of last week's weekly, I guess, where you get to see me win after another little session, so if you did that or not. Um, I don't think I have any... I feel like there was something else, but I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. And thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. I know it wasn't maybe what you expected or liked, I don't know how much you like or dislike this game at this point. You can always ask questions, by the way, because I realize, you know, I'm kind of firing through because I've learned what a lot of these abilities are, and you have no goddamn clue. So just like, <laughs> you know, you can slow me down. It's not a, it's not a big deal. It's just us hanging out anyway. But alligator, ostrich, ladybug. My advice would definitely be ladybug early. Seems to. Give it a bunch of peaches, give it a croissant relatively early, it's gonna be good. So, um, I don't think there'll be like any video that I could, I mean, unless I recorded something Saturday, but then put up on Sunday, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think I'll have like an extra YouTube video to put up or anything like that. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I guess that's it. I'll see you Monday. Have a good weekend. I'll still be, you know, in Discord and stuff over the weekend and whatnot, so. That, uh, I think that kind of wraps it up. I don't know. What a week. A, st a stressful, tired weekend is not even over. It's weird because tomorrow, like, wouldn't de technically be stressful, stressful, but, like, you know, if I'm competing in the event, it's going to be a little stressful or whatever. And then weddings, I still don't really feel great about the idea of a crowded group of people with COVID stuff, but we'll see. I think, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't catch that, because I'll be extremely mad if that happens. 
and yeah <laughs> have a good one and also feel free if you want to spend time in 7tv to recommend us to add there because nodders is shout for connect peace